inside half that cylinder, and if that cylinder's there, bam, he's forcing that thing outside. He's trying to declare that as hard as he can. And then he'll climb to that sand. Okay? Alright? So you'll see this on film. We can watch film at any time you want. And I will clearly indicate to you, I, I, I hope, I think we'll see it, where that tackle has declared that DN in this exact scheme. Okay? So that's that's really what we have to do. If you're going to run the wide zone, guys, 8-9 scheme, you have to declare your read. What about a, what about a, a guy that wants to play a, uh, play in that situation, a fan back that wants to try and run under when he sees that guard up on it, and that situation be the tackle. So the tackle works out yeah. to the to the down man, and that fan decides he's going to fill it up right now on the yeah. inside gap. This is where I grab my running back coach. And ask him what his responsibilities are. That's what he wants to hear. He also, when does he get to grab him? <laughs> 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 yeah, he made the gold pin right here. A little part of strange labor. <laughs> <laughs> and and we have uh, we have a young buck, you know, as a running backs coach, but he he played at UNC. Keith Grable, um, he, he's really good, and he's taken. He's gone with me to Denver. He's gone to Kansas City Chiefs with me, and and we've talked inside zone and outside zone. And and Keith, I wish. Like heck, could have brought him out. He's really good. He was a wideout. He's really good in the passing game. He's taught me a lot in the passing game. And, and in turn, I've shared a lot with him in the running game. And that's when I'll go to answer your question. I'll go to Keith Grable and I'll say, What is your back doing? Okay, that's, that's creating that, that sand to be filling so quick. And, and we just look at the path of it. That's what he's got to do. That 75% slow to hold. He's got to. He's got to get that sand to stretch. You know, and Tom, you can stunt. You know, you can always have your stunts. This would be, you know, and Sam Cross is what we call, you know, our sex and our wexes. And you can always have that. And that's when, you know, I'm not, I'm not real big. I don't spend a lot of time on the stunts because, you know, kids, kids get in the idea that, okay, wow, they're stunting. And, you know, we really got to be careful here. And it, it reduces some of their aggressiveness. And I don't like that. So I really just teach techniques and stuff. But let's say you start getting some of this. Okay? And Sam is going. Do do not chase. Do not turn back in. Do not chase a stunt. Okay? And on six and seven, it's a little bit different. But not extremely different. But if that end goes inside, then this tackle knows or this tight end knows what. He's working his angle partridge to sand. Okay? If it's the opposite of that, okay, if we go the other way, okay, we just very carefully, we've got that, we've got that. It goes back to what I said earlier, and, and I'm glad we're back on this, on that tackle, right? And I'm going to declare that read, and what's my aiming point? I'm looking for one thing. Right. One thing only. Hip. Hip. And man, it's helped us out tremendously. I mean, if I'm that, I'm looking, I'm looking at that hip, I'm that right tackle, and I'm spying that hip. If that hip goes away, one, two, three, can I declare? Yeah, there's, there, there's still some cylinder, I'll declare it. But as I'm looking, all right, I'm feeling here, I'm feeling this sand. If that hip flies out, there's no way I'm going to, you know, the hip disappears immediately, I immediately climb the sand. So in this case, this would be that scenario. I look here, okay, take that balance step, buy a little bit of time to gain some time and leverage, okay, right there, can I see a hip disappear? I'm now immediately, my, my focus is right back to Sam, and I'm climbing on that perfect angle of departure. I do not want to see this guy, you know, get back in here. I want to see him climb, you know, square up. But sometimes with that Sam, if they stun it, you know, I don't work a lot of it, but we read it. If it goes outside, boom, look for Sam right now. Okay. Well, I don't go back rushing in a hurry. No. Inside to go here. And when, no. I, when I even want to see it, I, I don't want to go square no. it up. No. No. I want to maintain outside leverage. Yes. Yes, I don't want to see this. Right. I want to see, okay, hip goes away, hip goes away, gotta, gotta, gotta. And that's responsibility to the back, too. Yeah, that's why I got that running back coach. That's, and that's why I brought up the point that I brought up. I want to know, 
You know, because uh, so many times I'm watching nine on seven and I see, damn, that Sam is filling right, you know, right away. And with spring ball, and they get so used to what, you know, we, we face our defense every day, you know, so we have to change formations up every now and then and, and put a little wrinkle in it. But so many times when I saw that Sam filling, here's what our running back was doing. He would get right to about here. That was very cool. And he's cutting up. He's not pressing the crack of that tight end's ass. Or he wasn't at what? It was more like 90. And just flying boom right there. That's all he was doing. He wasn't pressing the crack of that ass and allowing this to expand. We want to stretch that and then we want to allow that backside to expand. Okay? So that, that happens, and I look very carefully at the running back. We look at that. So that, it comes back to some good points earlier. You know, we're really big on just watching that hip and declaring that read. We've got to declare that read. Look at that very carefully. Okay. Led 40 on the south field. Yeah, now, don't sit down without that marker, because you're going to mark right on the field, you know. Yeah. Just going to oh, yeah. mark on it. And, uh, yeah, and, and what do I have to do that on, right here? Yeah, we're going to protect it right there. So the weeds. I don't know if that's going to work. Huh? I'm going to try and find out. If you mess the system up again. I think you got to run that deal through the computer. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the defense has got to do that. Why are you going to DVD? No, so that, you run it through. I had seen that yesterday. I think it's just that's that that you got to go through the real player to do it. But from that VCR, you can't really. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? I wanted to show you one other thing. So this is a projection right now. That I think I'm going to do this. Set this up a little closer right, right here. That's on the film on. stuff and just center it on the deal. Right. So we can get a little bit. Yeah, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's got to run through that. you got to capture mm -hmm. it and run it through there. Okay. We will, uh, we'll give a test call here. Okay. That's a test call. We've got to say the strong safety in what we call a tough position. So we got an exchange here, basically, a 4-3 exchange, strong safety tub, 38. Okay, and we don't feel, you guys were talking earlier, about your white out being able to get in there. Okay, well, with his normal split, he's going to try to get in there, but we've looked at game tapes and stuff, and we don't feel he can get in there. All right, so we'll go to a test scheme. All right, we just put him down or he's on the corner, and then here we test. All right, now we tell with that, we're going to test with that because he's the force and fill guy right now. And then we're here and we're gapping here. Okay. And we'll often, we'll incorporate this into our boss scheme. Okay. And now he's to that backer. And now we can gap back here. So we can, we can combine that test scheme with a boss scheme and it doesn't take you out of running your wide zone. Okay. And then we do that. And I just wanted to show you that because I was looking here at the old line objectives, you know, and, and I, I've got in parentheses there, you know, talking about the test scheme. And those are some things that, that we'll look at. And we can we can stay on board with the test. Okay. And then again, he's here. We're gapping here. We're gapping back. We involve our boss here. Okay. He's got to hold that because we are not going to seal this backside. We're going to still what? Do all that. Okay? So he's got to hold that right there. Okay? So there's that there's that test scheme involved in with the boss. All right? If, if you, you don't always have to boss it, you can still gap, but it's going to be a what? Be a cut back because cut this back is a wash. Three, yeah. It's a wash. Ain't nobody on, really. Yeah, and you're cutting back behind the three, so you don't have to incorporate boss. You can test it, but I just want to show you the combination. You can go a test scheme with boss if you're worried about some backside overlapping the line. But yeah, that a boss? Is that what you said just said? Yes, you can go. If you're going to be asking your 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 um, yep your Tackling. Well, I mean, the no, guard as soon as you reach it all the way over. Yeah. Yeah. Just and now, reach it out right there. now it's just a full wash yeah. up to that. Changing so technique right there. I mean, they're coming off a little faster. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're they're a little bit quicker. Okay, they really want to, you know, we hope that the tackle can handle that in because he's so up, he's so far outside there, you know, outside the tackle, he's in a seven technique. We're not going to slug that. Okay, we are we are not going to slug that. There's just no way. All right, so we go back to the gap scheme. We go all of our center, and now our guard. And we say, okay, okay, guys, we're going to gap that. We're going to test release it. Tight ends to strong safety. Okay, that tackle is what <clears throat> he's declaring that right now with his push pull technique. And then we're going to work a gap. Okay, and the guard and tackle are trying produce the best angle they can to get to that backer. If they can't get to it, they wash him by. They just wash him by and then, hey, our back is instructed that when he sees this with a test scheme, where's the ball probably going to hit? It's going to be cut up. Yeah. Because this, you're going to get that stretched. So you're going to get that stretched unless this guy is just a total waste. So you're going to get that stretched. So hey, now come off your primary read, you better be looking some secondary read. So we look at that, all right, that secondary read washes by, we've got to press that gap, and he's cutting up. Okay, and we're pretty successful with that. We've been able to do that and not incorporate boss. And then obviously if you don't, you got your fullback on the angle seal. Okay, so you've got that availability there. So if I'm sitting there, I know, just strategizing, which, you know, we've been known to do a little bit. Sure. That Sam Backer is a hard, he's a fast, great, fast flow player, then uh, we probably want to go back and, uh, and no boss. We want to put the, back, the fullback back side, cut everything off, and let him run himself out. But if he's a plugger, then we probably want to go sit in there and, and do the ball. And that's the key, Coach. Exactly right. You, uh, you've got it down. Because we need a little bit of personnel too, though. When it comes, I mean, if, if we don't have a, you know, if that's a stud backer sitting in there, just a big, big kid, we, depending on who our fullback is, we may not go with the ball, so let a bigger lineman be able to come off, let that tackle come off, and maybe put the fullback on the force. Yeah. On a uh, personnel so match. You, so you got some options, though, because, I mean, we might want to go out there and, and, you know, take the, uh, take the test call off. You know? Yeah, take it all. Take it off. inside. Yeah, that's right. Well, Triple it, that. it to that big back. Yeah. yeah. Put a big lineman on. Yeah. Now yeah, you can go. Yeah. Put that bigger lineman on. Right. Plus, I think mean, you right. put that fullback outside sometimes, you may really get that backer screaming outside now mm -hmm. with that stretch look out there. And um, that, that goes back to our true boss. Our true boss. Original, team. Yeah, yeah, original. Yeah, by personnel. Our original, when we first put in our 8 and 9 zone, the boss was truly the back, fullback on a strong safety. So you can, yeah, you can go right back to that. But you don't call that force when it's to the strong side? No. no. Yeah, run that anymore? What'd you call it? Full back on the force. That was our, uh, that was our true old boss scheme full back. Do now. And you don't do it No, we we really gotten away from that because so much of our stuff now is Zeus. Okay, we don't even call Zeus anymore. It's just 38. And we, our flanker knows that he's got first yeah, we might have to use some short motion, yeah. you know, or bring him over, but he knows he's got the first four. Does he do that on his own? Just, I mean, I mean y'all give him that flexibility. If he's sitting inside and say, hey, you can't get the force from out here, mm -hmm. that guy's sitting there tight. Mm -hmm. You may have some motion on him, they do that at night. Uh, only time um, you call it. We, we have a young man, but we, we don't leave that to chance very often. Right. We're going to call it. We're going to call it. But we do have a young man, I think, that could do that. Uh, he, you know, that would be our 81 at Vincent Jackson, but um, I don't feel very comfortable with it, so it's called. We use flanker short motion or flanker counter motion. We like to use a lot of counter motion. Softens this guy up. Yeah. Okay. And he's got to, excuse me, yeah, he's got to cross the center in our counter motion. He's got to cross here, and then he counters back. Boom. Now we got him on the force. Okay, so we use that. That's flanker counter motion, or you can run it out of flip, you can go 38, all right, zero weak, flip, 38, but we'll go F right, okay, so now we're bringing our flanker back over for force, so we use a lot, you know, we're going to control the edge with our, with our motion stuff, so we can do there, okay, but 
I think the big thing again, just kind of surmise our overall schematics of this is if, if I leave you with one thing, and, and I'm truly, you know, my my expertise is in in the running game. It truly is in the running game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, and I truly, really stick on that declaring the read. And that's why we use a lot of this stick slug. If I get a one technique player, my center is going to control that one technique. And I'm going to slug to that bubble. And I'm going to declare that read. I hope you see it here on the film. All right? And then what do we do? You take care of the schematics on the onside. You get the stretch going. Now, man, you've got to look very carefully at your backside in the offensive line. Are they cutting? Are they expanding that backside? Because if they get it cut right now, think about it. You stretch this, so work with me here. I've stretched this, I've cut this off. Okay, you get a lot of defenses. What do they think they're doing? They think that that back is cutting back. He's not cutting back. He's just going. Yeah, he's just cutting up, but you expanded that backside with your cut block. And that's why we work those cut blocks every damn day. And, you know, I at one time, hell, we were in a drought for the last three years. I had to get mattress pads out there because the ground was so hard. We were just wrecking the hell out of our elbows and stuff and knees. And I had the kids working our cuts, you know, into a mattress pad. We got a little gymnastics pad. Yeah. Put it out there. And, you know, it was an old one, so they could run on that and work their cut. And, we, you know, we had to do it because it was, you guys don't shit down here. It's green as hell. But... Man, not in West Texas. We, uh, yeah, we had a scrimmage, uh, our very first scrimmage. Um, man, it was a dust bowl. It was so dry. So, you know, it was hard to work the cuts because our kids, you know, college kids can be there. Dang it, coach, cutting them all cut up. I don't know if I'm talking about that. So I said, well, we'll miss that in gas. So the next day I brought out five of those big matches. <laughs> they were like, ah, shit, coach. <laughs> we're going to cut. All right, so that, that's, the, that's the keys to the schematics, you know, take care of that stretch, expand that backside with the cut. And, you know, Alex Gibbs, if he was here, you know, he'd tell you, um, you know, nine out of ten times, they're always going to incorporate that center working place well, side. Now you get yeah, some boss I'm concept good. things well, in there. You can slow it down, working to the backside gap yeah, backer. You know, you can gap back and things like that. But Alex is big on that. Oh, yeah. All the drivers out there? Oh, okay. I'm going to have to show this to Coach Dalton. Well, yeah. it, we just got back up and running the other day. Are you know, really some neat things you can do? To yeah. the, I hope I didn't screw you up. Too. No, I'm uh, trying like crazy. Because you can, you can yeah. import things into it. Uh, mm -hmm. If we had more time, you know, uh, like take the formation, put it up there, yeah. and save it. Yeah, and that's, that's what I was noticing over here, 15 of 15 already. Yeah, and you yeah. can touch right back, back to it. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And you can use templates, see where yeah. you, know, you can erase things and, and just have the formation drawn up. But we, and I think blank, you just go blank right there below you. Uh -huh. And you don't have to save that thing. It just blanks it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to keep adding. And you can blank off what you don't want to, I guess. Right? Yeah, don't blank no more. Don't like it anymore. I'm not. I'm going back. Okay. So we want to play yeah. We're going to play I game. just hope that you can get something out of the points. Yeah. Point. yeah, we can. <laughs> we'll save it. Adjusted my priorities a little bit. They go. So what time you got to go? Family on Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday. Football all the rest of the days. <laughs> what time do I have to go? Where? Tom. Tom oh. got track meet today. Oh. Who? You gonna leave it too? No. We'll leave it one forty-five. Okay. Get over there. No. You guys, you truly, you think that helps you? You got some confidence in that eight and nine? Answer the questions you want. Well, as smart as we're all at this point, we don't have any questions. We're not smart enough to handle it. No, I, I, Tom is. 
I have that same, but Tommy, same problem. As we get in the field, we'll start to see it and learn it more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our coaches all set one have done their homework, and they they pretty much up on that thing. <laughs> Did he give you a copy? Uh huh. <laughs> what have you been doing? Huh? <laughs> so you got that out. video? We got drinking some brewski. Single, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Single. I just yeah, yeah, worked it out life a little bit. <laughs> Where'd I put that stuff? Sorry. At this point, I see to hear it again and again and again. Not, Mine is running at the crack of the ass. Uh, uh, run at the crack of the ass. One ready. And you gotta take it. You gotta have you gotta find you gotta find that kid which you gotta get air to find this deal. You know, can feel it. You can't be an eighth grader running this play when we hit when we hit uh, district, you know. But he won't be. But yeah. I think that I really we definitely have to run this play at the seventh acre level. Well, definitely the eighth grade guy. I think it could be, be good if you could just get, you have to get the whole line working together. That's what I'm saying. It can't, and it's going to take Coach Brando to actually come out there and first period athletics instead of sitting in the office this year. That's huge. Because we can't have culture teaching it, but culture will teach him how to baseball. He will. He does not like to teach Tom anymore. He don't understand it. He's told, as I said that. The other day when we're out there at the 8th grade doing offense, he said, I'm not going to teach John all anything about it. I'm going to teach him how to base blocks when we do run ISOs. We always run ISOs. We're always going to run ISOs. I knew it was hard to have him come out there and teach 8th grade. Did you have, did you get breakfast, Cody? Why don't we get a little pizza hut and liver? Pizza hut and liver, a little thick crust? Oh, thick crust. You, you hear me talking? No, he's not going to Catch some fish this weekend or what? No, Peyton, they need to go. Oh, yeah. Well, she My daughter is. usually can go buy the truck mode. Gross or nothing, just go buy it. I need to. You scared? Yeah, I'm scared. You wish your boat back, girl. I'm thinking to buy one. I'm going to see where that's going. But I, I wish I had one I had yes, you're correct. But I'm thinking it's the one I'm buying. That's pretty stinking nice. nice. If it stay there for another month Where and a half. Are, are you at the house? I'm at the house. Right Where's she at? Her parents. When it sells, I'll do it with my parents. Hey, uh, <laughs> stay there till they kick my ass out. It's free. I ain't going nowhere. They talk about maybe selling me the house, the house in a couple of years. Let's see where I'm at in a couple of years with life and money. And Probably yeah, on the third boat. <laughs> third boat. Could be this supposed to be my fourth boat. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the only bad thing is, uh, <coughs> we have 32 right now, 8th grade, and I'm already going to 8th grade. He's broke again right there. Yeah. No, yeah. He's no. He's to the death. Five no, players. he is. You did that to him? players. Yeah. Coach, we're still there. Shit. He's going to come here a little bit. He's going to raise your slide. We might not have enough to play now. Hey, we might have enough to play now. Who's my from eighth grade? Back from eighth grade. Not this year. Three sixty something. We don't know how many more. This year we have four seventh grade. Forty five or five or five. No, no. He last three games. He's four fifteen overall. He's four forty four this year. Nick is five seven. One of the best athletes. He's leading the best athlete. All around five. At one point, you so say he's five fifty. He's getting one in a game. Yeah, top two. The tall kid. Hey, he wants to do your basketball. But uh. So we're getting up there a little bit. What's the only quarterback we had in the last Team back average is like 256 overall. You got any more than the pack? Two, you know? Yes, we had. We only heard four misses. Seven, two, eight, nine, 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 Team is like two. We call that one seventy, two eighty, and district three twenty. Good. Way better than we were. We're getting there. Getting there. We're getting there. We just don't know how to win. <laughs> no, we're in, man. We're in. Ball is ball. Huh? At least we know each other. Hey, which which tape do you have of Alex Gibbs on the way so on this one? Gilman. Oh, I got to send you another one. Oh yeah. Oh, I yeah. didn't know there was another. Yeah. Buddy. It took me three years to find that one. Coach. 
coach Keith Halton coached in Denver for oh, yeah? four years, buddy. I got I got some Alex Gibbs tapes. I got about five of them. Three of them are on the white zone. They're different than that. Oh, yeah. I'll send them to you. I'll dub them. I'll send them out. So I'll take you to the casino. Yeah. Bet you borrow my wife for a little while, would <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Wow. Actually, I, 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 I'm proof that a blind squirrel can find an acorn now and then. I just recently started dating a gal. Doggone. I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> She's, uh, well, I'm going through one right now. So. Victoria's Secret model for three years. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what she sees in me, but it's right now it's a pretty good relationship. So I'm not complaining. I was real scary about that dating shit, though. <laughs> You should have came to that. You should have came to that phone party with me oh. last week at the Cowboys. Tell oh, Coach Keeley that Mike Sellers told me. It is nothing but after the year better. He was he helping came coach at Lubbock. Uh huh. And uh, he was at the Amarillo playing games, an hour drive, an hour and a half drive. So when he gets back from the game at night, his house is cleaned out, and all four kids are gone. He, just, he never saw it coming, but it happened. Yeah. You know, and so now he's married another girl for yeah. a long time, for 20-something years. And then he right. so Good buddy of mine that I, I uh, coached with and taught with. Well, actually, I didn't coach with him, but uh, I'll tell you how I got to, to UNC. I came up and did my grad work up there. I was headed to CU, but didn't want to be a male guy, you know, running the mail and washing cars. Mm -hmm. So I went up and interviewed for Dalton, and he hired me right away that day. I had to work, start to work the next day. But uh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> this guy that I was teaching with, and then I would go over, after I was done teaching at the junior high, I'd run over to the college, and my last hour was planning period, long story short, I'd leave at 1 o'clock, I'd make all my 2 o'clock meetings and stuff, and this good buddy of mine that I taught with at the junior high, his name was Jeff Filler. <laughs> he came home, he lived in a really nice trailer, double wide, came home one afternoon, and all that was left was a suitcase and the stairs. Oh, <laughs> wow. And he had a guy come out, take the jacks off, hook it up on the big truck, took it down the road. <laughs> Jeez, <lovely. laughs> he, he said he, he came home and he saw a set of stairs leading up to the house in the suitcase. He knew it was over. <laughs> I was like, Jeff, what was your first clue? You need to get a car. Yeah. yeah. No labels, no cassettes. Well, trying to make the I was like marriage. It's well, a long more coat. What are you doing? Dropping this film. It's been a sweet deal. Well, so so there is, there is life. Five year ago, game. There is life after well, the war. We got plenty of sex. Kimball or somebody. Was was Kirbyville. Was it was hard on me. Yeah. I mean, how about a schedule? Leave for four years. I don't think anything like four years. I'm just recently. Going right on here. Twenty seconds to go in the game. And it was happening. You know, I. I was never uh -huh. really wild. Uh -huh. How long did it take? Reset, huh? reset. Still on the thirty minutes. A little bit more than yeah, spiritual thirty minutes. No, I mean you want to make sure you got a board <laughs> because yeah, it was, it was, it was the path. I mean, you know, it's got to be within, and you can't find it anywhere else. So, mm -hmm. I'm so it's, it's working out. It it's getting better, but I'll tell you what. No, I I still get that. Yeah, maybe at the narrow top. We're social. We're working here. You like uh, pizza? So <laughs> you He's a rare form. But uh, they wait. I ain't got no time, and they taking it all. Up. I know we do. Tony's a hustle. Hey, you want to just say hello, Tony? Yeah. He's a rare form today. Good to see you. Hey, I appreciate Coach Kilby. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen Macby's dad? They said the horse dad's yoke too. The horse said it. He says his dad was an horse. He said he's yoked. Is is might be the yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm 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 I
Okay, our uh, our our mongo is weak side. Okay, so you always see it written like this. We'll we'll never go 38, 39 mongo, because mongo means weak and it's man blocking. Basically, Mon mongo's weak, man blocking. So we go 39 slash 38 mongo. So we're running weak side here. And it's the, the it's the wide zone weak, okay. All right. So we're gonna be running weak here. Pull back is here. Okay, he's the Wanda. This would Mike. This would be Sam. Look, can you can you get another chair? Looks here like they're probably in cover five. Okay. So our whiteouts are looking at it. Could be it could be eight. But it's, you know, going back to really incorporating the whiteouts, reading the force. They've got to get the force cut off here. You see? You know, this was pretty decent here. Watch the read here. Okay. We got it booked. All right, so the pullback should have been outside of that. There's your read. Okay, since it's Mongo, it's more of a man scheme. That fullback's kind of a little flat. Yeah, coach, it is. Come right off the tackle. Yeah, but you guys apologize here. We'll be hitting the wrong button a little bit. Yeah, it's a little flat. That's Adam Matthews. Okay, he rushed for over 1,500 yards. A little bit of a dip in there. Okay, but you'll see it on the end zone. This is intercut. Okay. So here we know we're running Mongo. It's man. All right, so we're going to gap here to Mike. Here's Wanda. Fullback is on the one. He's got the same reads. And our tackle's got to declare the end. Okay. Let's see if he does that. Okay, got him hooked. Good job here by the guard. Watch their steps. Now, since he has no help here, that's a good job by the guard. And that little, uh, a lot of penetration right there on the on three man when he's got him hooked. Uh, yeah, and that's where you get that dip on that back. A little too much penetration, and, and you know, you go back and you look at that and see where he was if he was in a four eye. Okay, no, he's a he's That's a pretty tight tough. five technique. Okay, and I think he overstepped him a little bit yeah. and crossed way over. Okay, let's go back. You bring up a good point. Let's see if we can see it on the wide. Okay, just real quick. We'll see other shots. I won't run everything back. But um, let's see what he did here with his second step. Yeah, he might have cr you know crossed it over too far. Watch the white outs. See, you got to him. Wasn't great, but he got there. Okay, again, now we got 38 Mongo on. All right, so there's that fullback. There's a nice cut by that fullback. That's Ronnie Scott, 260 pound fullback. Are you pulling your guard? Really? That looks like it, but no, we're not. I don't like the. Uh, well, you know what? We might have thrown in. Uh, it's my center. I gave him a green light now and then. Okay. This guy had some feet, so he came all the way around to the backer. Looks <coughs> like a front one might see you right there. How was that nine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So fullbacks here. All right. The man here. And the center should be gapping here to here. And I believe this guy slanted in. Oh, center came around he, it. Yeah. Why didn't they gap it? Just a game plan deal. Yeah. And then Nate Larue, our offensive center coach, he had he thought he was a speed demon. <coughs> and on that weak side, Mongo stuff, man stuff, 
he would sometimes horn it, what we call a horn. And so it was somewhat game plan. Okay, here we are, we're setting in the zero. Okay, so here's your flanker, there's your X, the true zero. Okay, you run Mongo. So we're up top. Great job by left guard. Okay, got to declare the read. Not bad. Oh, and hey, that's that's a that's a red shirt freshman. That left tackle now. Okay, go back and see what the guard did. In center. Oh, that's my starting center now. So we're beating these guys pretty bad. This is our second third teamers in. What's the coach at center up right there? Is that his fault? That, that yeah. guy's kind of getting across there. What? Yes, <coughs> Is he not flat enough? Yeah. Yeah, he didn't lose enough ground to gain ground. He's got a bad angle here. See? Bad angle. He didn't lose enough ground to gain ground. And the guard's pretty good here. I mean, on the gap. See that? Uh -huh. He pawed that off. Now he's cutting. And we're not very good on the backside here either. Is that because the... Are we passing it off this way because that guy is the inside shade on the guard? Mm-hmm. Now, if he was head up, you know, we we right. we yeah. work in the half, and the center would be actually exactly. And the center's got to come over and work that inside half. So the center here's got a bad well, because angle. right now he just yeah. he just really bumping on the center. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what the whiteout did. I mean, to be honest with you, man. The reason our run game exploded was because of these guys. That's a pretty good read on his part. I didn't finish. But that's a pretty damn good read on his part. Blocking that eighth guy. Did you go over backside guard mm -hmm. and tackle there? Mm hmm I will. Mm -hmm. I was expecting okay. the, the right the backside tackle mm -hmm. to be working to cut and I thought the Backside guard will be coming off. Yeah, up. and we got some young guys in there. Let's see. <laughs> exactly right, Coach. They didn't handle it exactly the way you want it to be. See, this would be gap to here, pull back to here. All right. And now, what they would call, since this guy's so far removed, it's still a B1, they're going to be a little bit stronger on it, okay? Because now they're B1 into here and not to a guy stacked right here. Let's see how they handle it. Poor by the guard, not getting. That's poor by the guard. Tackle's trying to get there. Yes, right, he buddy. was. Yeah. Now Western State, they ran, you know, eight man front on us all the time. Okay, so we had to go. Anytime we go Mongo, we go force call, and I, I didn't bring this up, and I need to bring it up now. Our fullback, even if we say called a a zero or a one, he always goes to a weak set. Okay, so always motion to a weak set. Allows him to get out here. Pretty good cut by the back. So we should be here, gap into here, full backs here. Oh, excuse me, can't see him, but full backs there. So we've got to force block this so we're gapping to here. Alright, and we got to reach this guy. Pepperoni, alright? We all or y'all won't? We all won't. Now here's Tom where that get, get one sausage. left tackle. Mm -hmm. Crossover. Crossover. Right. Crossover. Right. Okay. We got one angle. technique. Yeah. He's not really anybody like right. hooping at all. Right. Right. See his angle. I bet if he's sitting here with the feet. He what? See. Thin crook. He didn't quite get there. Uh -huh. Brandon, what's the noise? Is that what you said? For Domino's? Yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it. Sorry, I'm trying to talk a little football here. Stop the smorgasbord. I think it's 686. They opened a new one. Yeah. Seven, seven, three, five. Yeah, here's, first time it's in the cut. Here's a good job, but Now, now you, you hold the same, the same rules about cutting it as Alex Gibbs. You don't like to cut that. I got it to a tight shade. Right. So you like to cut the guys in front of it. Right. 
I'm, I'm same school with Alex. Okay. Yeah, same school. So really that 75 should be cutting on the back side. Yeah. The left car. He should be. Uh, the inside, move the inside shade on. See it? He should be cutting. Yeah, we see that front. <laughs> I know what he called right there. He wants the force. Is that wrong? No answer? Yeah, then I'm on home. Oh. Okay, so he's got to be here. All right, just by alignment, that back knows that this ball should be outside. Okay, so he's got to press that. Yeah, what's our rule for the end man on line of scrimmage here? I uh, need um, two pepperoni and one side. Uh, how does that tackle face? know that that's not his man, that's the force man? And he's living in the field house. We, the quarterback, called force. So he knows that that's he's the same guy outside is going to be the force? Yep. Yeah, he's going out. And we know in our Mongo scheme, Mongo means man. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so with the force call, bingo. Yeah. He knows that he's got the force. The tackle should have got the back. And now what we should do here at the tackle, with this being a, almost a four eye, this tackle should have been climbing a little similar yes. to this backer. Because the fullback's here. Okay, these you. two have these two. And watch, if the tackle climbed a little bit earlier, we'd be in a much better shape. Right. Okay. <laughs> that, that tackle be chasing inside like that? No, sir. And that's what we were just talking about. Is that what y'all were saying? Yeah. See that hip disappear? See? And I don't like what he did there. He got turned inside and he's not going to get off in time. See it? And we, out, we outran everything, but look at the backside. So these two to these two. Okay, and we should be cutting on the backside. We got some cuts. Big wide out. Sure, the quarterback's given a force call. Okay, they rolled. Why didn't you gap that? Three technique. Okay, one technique here, and we're Mongo. So that tells us, unless there's a force guy up here, which he's not, okay, we are going to Mongo, so the fullback is now here and we're able to gap back now, okay? So full back is here. Now if it was force, we'd have to turn that into a gap, okay? But force was called off. So now we're gapping to here, all right? And we should seal, seal. Good cut back side. Overtaking cut, you know, we preach about that, not bad. I like that one right there. We can do that. We can do that. We can back and turn that. I think so. Get a little coach, you know. Yeah, I gotta give you a little shove. It does look like an ISO to you, but I know you love that play. That's the job of your seat on the top. Yep. Now, here, now we're getting to where you start to see some declare. This is our starting left tackle. Okay, watch here. Boom. Great declare. See that? Bring it back to you. Watch the steps here. Although he's a little slow, I like the way he's staying square and he's stretching the three. See it? Now the hat should be outside. Now with this being Mongo, okay, Kevin, you were asking earlier, puts the full back here and we're able to gap back. Okay. Good cut. Yeah, it's just a game plan though. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Watch the cuts backside. <laughs> How about that wheel? Good wheel. job by the fullback. Backside backer. Mm -hmm. How about that? This wide out's got to get to him. <laughs> got to try. That's Jamar. Jamar Farbs, he's a JC kid. Um, out of Snow Junior College. And 
I'll tell you what, the harder they're hitting, the wider he's a splitting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the angle of the center here. Okay. This is still Mongo. Okay. We got a backside problem. Whoa, baby. Look at that thing. See where that backside problem came from. So what was what's the bad that part back? of the center? What's the uh watch his angle. See? He's not He's, see how his shoulders are turned? Uh -huh. I want him to lose more ground and get over here. I want him to think in this scheme of things that he can reach that three. Okay. okay. So he's too much uh, yeah. at the hip right now. Yeah. And he wants to he wants to chase that. Seeing that hip was there, he should declare that. Boom and work out. We're doing on the backside. Oh, the backside guard did a very good job. But no, he didn't. Tailback ought to make that cut, shouldn't it? Why, why are you not chopping the three with that backside tackle, letting the tight end have that five to chop him and yeah. send the guard off to the backside backer? Right. Yeah. Is that what, is that what they should? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is, is you know, this is our Mongo scheme. So Mongo means man. All right. He's here. He's here with a gap and fullbacks here. So now no, what really about this? working back to that back side. So yeah. And so now what? Back well, we're, backer. We're gapping right. here to here. Right. Yeah. So, so now we can we can we can start out on those seal 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 back too. and sift. He should be sifting. Okay, so it's man schemed. Mongo means man. Weak side man. Pullbacks here. We gap here to here. Okay. Seal, seal, sift. So the center backside guard in. Yep. And, and this is back terrible. Tailback ought to make the cut. Yeah. And this is terrible. But that that's, that's terrible. not a cut guy, right? Uh, it's. When he moves back outside where he's looking in front of me, right? I, now I'll just stay up and just cut off. Yeah. I should wall it off. You're damn right. And this is terrible. It's it's not good by the guard. That's why you don't you don't chop yeah. somebody that's, that's staring at it. Yeah. You got leverage on him while chopping. That's right. Center turned his shoulders and Yeah, yeah, and that's that's a young center, but he's gonna have to grow up. He's my starting Yeah, team. see, they've all been here to hear you for the now. They all know how to coach the offensive line. So for, for, for. <laughs> <laughs> have a lot. And see, I don't like what the tight end did. All right? I don't like it at all. Okay, the tight end, if he didn't call Sift, he needs to be down here. Okay? And the tackle should be working up. Everybody should be in a full scoop mode. All right? And I don't like what he did. We're going to leave a guy. That's, that's not good. This against Florida Atlantic. They went to the semifinals. Lost to Delaware. Okay, now this is a pretty good scheme here with Mongo. This is what we call trio. Our trio scheme, and we saw this in game planning. All right, that they have a tendency they bring force and they slant, okay? In this case, slant is strong, angle is weak, so they were slanting their line. So we just said we're going to full scoop trio mm -hmm. this. Our tackle should have climbed a little earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, and fullbacks out here on forks. Still back dipping. Yeah, he did Something dip a little bit. I don't know. No, he did, coach. Does it? Yeah, he does dip like a little bit. See it? He dipped a little bit. Now that one right there, would you prefer you to pull back to hit him up high, or? I mean, yeah, good question. And with with Ronnie Scott, I tell you what. I was smart enough not to outcoach that kid, because man, he could he could cut block like nobody's business. And then when he got tired of cutting you, he'd hit you in the mouth. So I didn't say much to, to to Ronnie. I was really confident in the fact that he could cut a guy. But to answer your question, because I know you're getting to a good point here, you know, with that kind of leverage, I'd prefer he stayed up. You know, I think it gave it gave us a little bit running better crease there. Here's the guy you want to watch. That guy here was able to control some declare and reads. And yeah, he, he just ran a 439. He ran it inside. 
track spikes. Okay, here's a good example. Watch. Okay, the guard. See how he stays square? He's chasing that hip, right? Watch what happens to the hip. Now climb. Now he didn't finish very well. And he did a good job here. So we're going to clear the read. <coughs> read escape. Fullback was late to clear, wasn't he? I mean, he? He looked like he was going to go outside. And oh, shit. And came back underneath. He tried to come back underneath. Yeah, let's see. Looks like he was starting to go outside and came back. Yeah, he should be inside. He's inside been or come back. Well, excuse me, man. I'm sorry. I, we've got Mongo on. So he's got to go to the force. He's going to go back to the He's got that backer, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he went back inside. Let me look at the front here real quick. Because I don't want to get screwed up here. I think that's screwing around with the secondary. Yeah. And ran a safety up the field. Yeah. So he takes out. Okay, we went with true Mongo, so the fullback should have been here. Okay, there's one to Mike Sam. Strong safety, okay. He's they did come up. up they did come up early. Alright, that's he, what happened. They had some good numbers and they just screwed up. Them. Yeah. They went right by him. So that was that was true mongo block because I don't want to screw you guys up here. Okay, now he's in bump. All right, so we're just gonna have to maybe beat that safety. Don't know if he can, you know, he can't get in there. So that that running back's gonna have to beat that safety. Okay, fullback's here. You know, that safety just filled in there, and we were able to outrun him. And that's where we get to that force scheme, you know. If that safety's up there, we got to call force. But that's normally for a Wanda A gap, okay? Now here we didn't have a Wanda A gap. See it? So we're not going to force this. If Wanda was A gap, that would have been an automatic force call, okay? Okay, this, this was a team, a, you want to talk about some screwy fronts, this was a 3-5 and we're starting to see some of it, okay. Great job by the guard, terrible by the center. Nice thing is we haven't seen too many negative plays yet. We got a pretty good stretch. Okay, we're 55 to 14, so now we got some young guys in. Okay. Pretty good by the center. Okay, now here's that A block scheme, okay? A block. And then this guy here, I don't think he can play here. This is terrible. He's got to get to this guy. He'll cut here. Scoop. He's got nothing to do with this guy, so he should cross over, gather, and take care of this linebacker. He can't do it. Somebody's got some good. Yeah, we're... 
we're so far ahead right now. We got the young guys in, and we have an MA right here, and that's gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me and the play a lot of background block in the yeah. hole is the well, no nice cigar here. Yeah, that's that's gonna hurt. You know, that's gonna ouch and leave a mark. Okay. This is Southern Utah at their house. Okay. Now we're in a we're in zero week flip. Try and match this up now. Okay, we got a call here. All right, so we'll match here. Pull back. Who's gonna have to go to here? Okay. We got lucky there. They overloaded that side. Mm -hmm. But here's here's a good job by the tackle declaring the read. Okay, in the center. You can see here. You know, we he should have been. This is not a very good job by the center and left guard for this guy. But the nice thing about our center is, he got quick feet. He finished it. And I'll tell you what, it's that wash that we talked about. Yeah. Okay, watch him just stay on the guy. See that? Just enough. Yeah, and we got the backside cut, so we were able to turn that right. into a pretty good looking play. Okay, it's against uh, UC Davis. Something I just wanted to check was the quarterback. These boot are pretty good. This was a hell of a defense. We didn't run a lot of Mongo on these guys. Okay. Fullback had to go here. All right, we should be gapping here. We should be one this to here, so the tackle would be down cutting. Right guard would be up here. If he cut here, we book this guy. Okay, here's my, just going back to my question a while ago about the, the, the combination block on the two technique right now. You know, that linebacker's scraping over the top so fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, that should be the guard climbing off when he sees both numbers? Yep. But see, so the center's not there. No, the set, the two technique stretch too. Okay. Yeah. So they should be forcing that running back underneath. Yep. Yeah. And they should be forcing and that, washing it. That's really the running back ball. Back. Yeah, he should have cut this. He should have brought it under. And let's see if he could have brought it under. Exactly. So if he stretches, the center's got to come off. Yeah. You know, his pocket. Yep. And let's see if that back. Going back to the Let's see what happened backside. We should have been cutting that back. Right there. Right there's a the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. There's a problem right there. Boy, it'd be clean if he would have done his job. Now, see, that, and that's what we don't worry about. We'll wash that out, but we've got to expand this backside, and there lies the problem right there. Boy, look at that hole if he does. See that? There's the cut up. Uh, uh, I kind of looking at it, huh? Is it? Yeah, I think he saw the. That there's, there's the problem. Yeah. Cross the tee up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's it. He's playing on our side of the line. We don't do that, baby. 21 21. This was a heck of a game. You see, Davis has a great, great front. A good defensive front. Okay, there's our declare. Fullbacks here. Now, the left guard really screwed us here. And this safety was a hell of a filler. Okay, he was a great, great safety. But we got some problems here with the left guard. He's turned. He's not going to get off in time. And it's the safety making a play. Hill back to Yep. Right there. Got to match him up. He's got to be able to beat him now and then. Mm -hmm. Not very good on the back side. But then I'm going to cut the pull back. We weren't getting over. Oh, that's all he wanted to do. These guys would not take on our fullback. They were cutting our fullback. Okay, now this is toss, 39. This is anytime you hear toss in our scheme, it's always weak side and pitch is strong. And this is where we try and incorporate the jump hook. Okay, now you see our tackle, jump hook in a guy. Every year you're going to put your 
you had to put your best lineman there? Left tackle? Yeah. Yeah, so you're exactly right. Yeah, you probably don't want to watch too much of this too, because these guys weren't very good on defense. Now that guard, or excuse me, that guard should climb. Okay, stay on a good angle of departure. I don't like the way he's already leaning in right. there. I don't like it at all. Center should be over here. This should never be a problem. That guy's slanting in. Center should overtake him and golf him. Guard should be up to backer. Okay. It was raining like crazy this game. There's our, our split, six yards. On this particular play? Uh huh. Ooh. And it's pretty that's common. Close. Yeah. The fullback wound up taking the four or whatever he is right there? Maybe we'll see it better on the end zone. Is that a buzz? Yeah. 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 That's forced out there. Yeah, they should have switched. Yep. Tackle should have taken the four and let the fullback go the four. Exactly. Down that place on the back or anything. Yeah, he did. Well, it was just too easy to jump for that left tackle. Mm -hmm. He wanted to go jump a board. Yeah, yeah. go jump a board. Yeah. <laughs> Quick pitch team. And when we toss it, you know, we ask for jump. We're trying to get people to jump hook. Look at that table. Is that y'all's or theirs? That's theirs. This a pretty good job backside. Okay. Good cut. And did you ever say the same read? Yep. Probably the same primary read? Yep. Same primary read on Toss and Mongo. Don't worry, I'll get the door to you. That's where we got into the White House ass a little bit. Right here, I remember this game. I jumped and hit his butt. See, I thought Toss, he was going to have a tire split. So. Yeah, we're, you know, we'll vary it six to eight. Okay. We'll vary it. He's going to try to get in this man. But see where he should be going? Yeah, he's still coming in. And I shoot his ass out. Lazy ass. I won't accept it. Okay, he can't get there. He's going to work out some great angle of departure, washed by. Backside tackle. Oh. Now he's stay on that hip a little longer. He's, he's free release. Yeah, this backside tackle is free release. So they both okay. come off of that. Right. And boom, he should stay on that a little bit longer. Just stay on that path? Yeah, and they could have doubled that up. Yeah. Okay, right there. This is pretty good here. Run back to the beginning. And yes, sir. I hope not to screw you up. Okay. okay, we know now, right now, just scheming things, okay, just by front. Okay, we use B left motion. All right, he's turning out, he's turning out. He's going to gap. This would be called a gap. He's going to chase that hip and work up on an angle departure here. And then he should have just crossed over, free release, right up to here.
pull backs right here, turn out here. Okay, there's no force call, not needed. Watch the center. Okay, we're tossing this so everybody's trying to jump hook. But this is what I like, you know, and Howard Mudd taught me this. You know, it's got like going to the ballet. When you freeze it, those yeah, ought to be the most, the most beautiful picture in the yeah, world. And I, I mean, I'm getting water. goosebumps right now. Look at that. And that's what you want to see. If you drove a spike in that guy right there, it should be a mirror of what these guys look like. Okay? And watch, look at all their steps. You know, everybody's really pretty similar here with their steps. So, uh, this, I'm hoping this works out pretty nice, but I, I just like the way the guys came off the ball. <coughs> Charles had a Hallmark logo right there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call a Woody. <laughs> yeah. For me. So we have anybody coming to work? No. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can't. I think Coulter and Burton. Okay. Coulter's supposed to be going. How much? I just curious. Burton's gonna work with Tom and then do the yeah. charting it. Okay. Seventeen and something. Pizza here. Oh, I can work something. Hey, need some money. Right. So. Nah. Okay. Kimbo got this one. Did you pull back? I'm not sure. Pardon me. Did you see the ball much pull back? Like yeah, and the yeah, we run the midline oh, track. Huh? We run the 16. They're not the door. Which They're not where they he wasn't very good at it, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's the same reason as the 36. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get him a ball every now. Yeah. 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 I'll take a break from yeah. him. Yeah, well, that's up to you guys. I just don't think we're just saying, let me stop this deal. And, uh, okay, coach, I just pushed stop. There you go. We're ready? Yeah. We are rolling. Uh oh. Uh oh. What formation was that? The tight end? Yeah, let's go back. Yeah. Yeah. Double time? No, we'd be running Mongo, so we wouldn't be. Oh. Yeah, we're zero. Oh, okay. So oh, excuse me, we're in a one flip. Gotcha. So this is our flanker, there's our X. Okay, and we're running the Mongo again. So, should be here, should be here. Yeah. Well, he's so wide that shouldn't be a problem to read right there. Fullbacks to here. Okay. Y'all get called for the high low stuff? So we yes. got a couple of coaches. We do. That. Yeah, Kevin, we do. And and I really am a you know, a stickler not to I don't want to see the guys high low on. Well it's like that right there. You're really not doing them and you're cutting, but their guys engaged with you. You're yeah. trying to get away. Right, exactly. That happens. Okay, so here, I mean, we'll we'll play with the splits a little bit in this because you guys are asking about the splits, but you know, we're running Mongo here, so we'll go ahead and, you know, split him out a little bit. Um, you know, so we'll bury our splits a little. I guess if that safety's that deep, it's a cover four look. Or right, exactly. Really looks like it winds up being two man or something, but uh, you can wide out and still get there because that safety's 15 yards so deep. deep back mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, that's pretty good steps here. Good job on the, oh, he lost it. Good stretch on the three and he loses it. The center man, yeah, he's an incredible athlete. He really can control backers. You see that? Run that one with him? He's still on that backer.
What is the the back? Is that the? I mean, he ought to really just stay on pass, shouldn't he? No. I mean, it looks like he got it if he did take. Yep. He see where his read took him. Yep. There's his read. There's his path. He could have stayed right on it, and he cut it up. off that back. That yeah. backer right there. Yeah, he could have pressed it. Exactly. He could have pressed the B gap it's more. Tight in there, but. Yeah. He could have pressed his sprint spot more. It's good. Good call, coach. Good eye. Keep your shoulder square. Mm -hmm. The back coach, mm -hmm. yeah, he'll he'll square up a little bit more on the toss so he can get his read out yep, so and get back down more. You know, I mean this this shouldn't be a problem. Fullbacks here, all right. Where we have probably have a little bit of problem here is on the overtake. See how well, not bad. Fullback read that nice. I'm not so sure back here you should have pressed that sprint spot. And a tackle lost him. Color chose the back cut it up. Who's that coming? That's the uh, that was the safety walking as a backer. Now let's see here. and safety filling. Good job by the way out. That's great. Watch this. That's a good job here. Yeah, he sees it. Yeah, he sees it. And we you know we reach that or actually read that and look at that all the time. Good job. Like what the left guard did here. Pretty good. He goes in, he stays on his angle. Got good leverage here. Okay, the tackle should have went ahead and climbed up to this backer. See that? He hung on this too long. Now, right there, is that a slug call? Or is that base? Just a. This is the guards. Is it 3 5? Yeah, this was slug. Yeah. The but center is trying to reach that yeah, 3. Yeah, the center is trying to reach the 3. Now, where am I made here? Okay. Hopefully not. Let's see, this was. I'm trying to remember who this was. So we fullback had to be here. We needed a gap here, so yeah, we made that. I'm not going to stay long on this. This is against Adam State. It's screwy front. Tackle coming out to that. Let's look at it. Force guy coming off the edge. Should he stay with that guy? Yeah. Let's go back here. I mean, he should 
wouldn't turn that five loose, should he? Uh -huh. Go get that guy coming off the edge, let's pull back at him. Yeah, I want to take a good look at it here. See what we're doing. Okay, we went with a we went with a stick slug here. Okay, so he should have been. Yeah, he's MA. Okay, he should have been sticking here, climbing to here, fullbacks here. All right, so he's wrong. Fullback did a good job, read it, and went up inside. Right. Still, okay, we're still running our, our weak side toss. Good job by the fullback. We got a gap here to this backer. I'm not sure of the front, but I think that's a three. Sticking the slot, sticks the yep. Mm hmm. That yeah. he had one to go with. Huh? Yeah, now this would be, uh, this is what we would call a ram front, okay? Four down line shifted weak. I got a nose tackling an end. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think the way we handled this, we were going to go ahead and gap this. Okay. And we went with our stick slug type feel, which what we call trio blocking. And the hard part is getting this guard here to cut this. Mm -hmm. But there's the read, and that's what we wanted to work and declare. Now uh, he should climb. He did. So it worked out pretty well. This is against UC Davis, so he's called force here. Pull back. Okay. We went forced. So we've got a gap to here. We declare here. He's got a rip release to here. He's got to come over and cut. And he's got to cut. The center did a good job here on his force block. Stay with it and wash him by the hole. And we were good enough to get the backside cut off. A little bit. Okay, here's the true zone, what you guys wanted to see. This is 38 and 39, wide zone. Okay, here's our triple. Okay, we're tripling here. All right, we're gapping here. The back. We didn't shut off the back side. This is Tiger. Okay, so it's two tight end set. This would be to us, this would be, well, probably two double wing. Okay, hopefully he checked over. Good. If we had 38 on here, he'd check this over. We're going to go 39. So he just makes an over call. That back's dancing a little bit, and there's probably a reason why in the front why he's dancing. Reed was out, he has to cut it in. Say that again. Should be his face. All right, we should 
go ahead now and slug this. And take a little wide on the step of the four. Yeah. When you just need a four, would you like him a little more? A little, little more. A little tighter. Yeah. But it's pretty, not bad. Really? Yeah, he's really not too bad. Because he's got the outside half of the cylinder. Mm -hmm. He's going to have the inside half of the cylinder. And we're going to go ahead and stick slug this. Base, slug, stick. So the center's got to get over here and overtake the nose. He did. He just let him go backside of him. Somebody. There's Jamar. A white out. Did a good job of recognizing force. He didn't do anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> and we're coming off a guy standing around. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. A little little bit. Bit. yeah. Now this guard should be climbing to this backer. He got shut off here by the pinch. So as a result, we never got him. And we'll see, we'll see a lot of that. We'll get some pinching and some fill. We just call it straight pinch. And that's when we got to go and start incorporating here. This tight end needed to climb up, which he did. He did. This tackle needed to climb up here. So it's, it's, you know, they got you sometimes with this pinch stuff. Couldn't get anybody off to the back there. You notice here the center's pulling in. What's the ADV? But on him? Which one is that? Advanced? Advanced. That's, That's the one I keep. Yeah. Oh. This is Western State. They're film quality on it. Real good. Okay, we should declare the read here. He should be out. Turn out. So we should declare this. All right, now based upon this front, it's probably going to cut underneath that three. <coughs> Right there. See that? There's that. Now if we get this cut off, and see that's that's the part that you have to emphasize right here. Okay. And what what we tell our tackles to do, I mean if this guy was in a one, alright, there's no way this guard's gonna get off, so he free releases, cross over and go. We get that cut off, he comes down and cut, we book this guy. Okay. And see that tackle? Mm -hmm. Watch his step. I fired his ass on this one. Watch. See it? He's never going to get there. So that's where we were talking about earlier, that crossover step. And that's what disrupted that expansion of that backside. That's a hell of a cut. Hmm. That's our backup running back. That's a big kid. He's now our starting running hmm. back. He's, I think he's about six one, six two, about one ninety five. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a four five, four six guy. Stretch. Declare. Guard should be working over. Okay. Now here. Yeah, he just, we went base, base, gap. We got a gap to this factor here. 
and then now we B1 this so you guys understand the backside blocking. We always B1 on 8 and 9. So this is just a balance step rip release to the backer, and he's got a pull, overtake, and cut. It's pretty good by that left tackle. This against Idaho State, and I'll tell you the team, um, the play that we really hurt Idaho State with was our Hound 2 run. Okay, We worked our Hound 2 run here, and what we did with that, um, you know, that comes off that 60 protection. We ran Hound 2 here, we're in double tight, but we hurt him pretty bad with the Hound 2 stuff. You know, I think, you know, we'd like to run it to the bubble. Our our eight and nine hole scheme. So the quarterback here, he's checking it over. He ran it into the one technique. That gives you a little bit better possibility. He should be turning out. Now we should gap the one to here. That's going to help us out. As opposed to running it over here, see. Now we got some problems. Overshifted here. So this is really like a test release here. Okay, coach. So we're here. We're here. Now we're going to gap to here. Now we should have a great cutoff, B1 to here. See that? That worked out well for us. Now, who, who we didn't clean up very, really well. Can I take you some of that notebook? Yeah. How much do you want to. Hey, girls, how about well, you? I can look at it for you, coach, and go through it. Or you can just. Whatever you guys want, I'll send you all of our past inflation. Yeah. I would have liked the guard to have stayed up here. Okay. Because he's got him leverage. I don't feel he needs to cut him. Thank you. Yes, sir, I sure will. You show him how to hook it up? Yes, sir. I don't mean to just plug it in, I mean how to. How to do it? Yeah, how to do the software. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll okay. show you. Sure will. Thank you, Miss Wilson. Yeah, <coughs> here we go. All right, this is our quarterback keep pass. Here, this is New England. So what, what we're doing off of this, we're going to go, this would be a fake 37. Okay, or fake 39 quarterback keep pass right. Like I have that cable. Yeah. I just need to take it home maybe tonight, and I'll, I'll try to get them both the house and start transferring files. And then since I'm done, you can have it. Uh, yeah. Who's he talking to? Uh, pretty good job here by the center. I'd like to see him come over more. That's not bad. You have a preference running it to a, a, a yeah. shade or a three? Yeah, we do. And he, he checked this one over. You like to run it that We'd like to run it to that shade. one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We'll run it to the three. We're, we won't hesitate, but. What about the inside preference. zone? Inside zone. Uh, again, we like to run it to the bow. Like really? to the one technique, yeah. I just feel like with us, I like to run it to three. And get that and cut back spread. behind that yeah. one rather than trying to cut back behind that three is kind of yeah and, uh, yeah I I can see your point I know it's both I know Sam Houston uh, uh, they like to run it at the at the one yeah just you know in the line it's a little easier to block it yeah but you know we'll run it both ways We're getting hammered here. So, <coughs> Okay, we're M8 here. This is an M8. You're supposed to come back to force. Yeah, you're supposed to come back for an animal seal. Control the edge. See, you should have settled down right there and controlled the edge. You got backside guard and tackles messing up, aren't you? Yep. Backside guard, I'll have it backer that's making the play. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe but maybe the tackle because he's coming. He should be coming out. Yeah. And see, so we should have an animal seal. Yeah. We didn't control the edge. Yeah. 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 
So we got a guy free. They're all rolled up on you. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, that's, they just the end that rolls them up. This is, uh, oh, yeah, this is, yeah, I tie it in here, he's, he's off a little bit, but. This is good looking. We watch the Broncos like they're not running really nasty slot, but it's yeah. the same thing as yeah. we need. Oh, that's what we're doing. Really opens that thing up. Mm -hmm. Makes it fly outside of that thing. Exactly. This could have been under control a little bit better. Backside guard tackles our triple. It's a good job. That's right a good there. job here. To make it go. Reed went inside, he went outside, and the Reed ended up He outside. made the wrong read, didn't he? The yeah, he, he did, and watch, you know, he jumps, he jumps inside first. Oh, okay. Okay, see that? Yeah. And then he jumped right back out. Now, we should be stick here, okay. All right, and this is so wide, we're not going to slug this, but... So uh, I, what we did here is we went to a triple, okay? So a triple here, gap here, all right? So a triple to here and a gap to here. And we should just seal off this backside. Checked it into the one technique. Okay. So we brought our flanker over so we could get the force, turn out, turn out, gap to here. Do we have slug call? Yeah. And we went ahead and I give him the green light to do that. Mm -hmm. We'll go stick slug. Now, the only thing I would tell him by you know, by alignment, by shades. Mm -hmm. This guy's pretty wide. So read that hip real quick. Right. Now start climbing earlier. Right. Okay. And then you're putting some heat on your center. Mm -hmm. But we had a good one. See it? Yeah, I got across. You got across there. Good job on the backside. I'd like to see cuts. Okay. Expand that backside with some cuts. Tackle should have cut. Tight end did cut. This is pretty good here, so they went ahead with a stick slug look. Good job by the guard. job declaring that read. There's that there's that double. It's just a real tight triple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we doubled this out. You can see this you can see this uh our Z here, he's looking in at that guy, but we had the double call on so he blocks out. We asked for four yards in our eight and nine. We had an average four yards per carry. Oh, that's not good. We should have kept coming. Guards should have this. 
Okay, he should have climbed up here. Alright, this is an MA on the tight end. See that? Mm -hmm. Once he peeks inside, he never goes inside. He should have stayed on his course right here. Yeah. Now we should have been climbing with the tackle. The guard should overtake this. Right there. Yeah, they have a slug call right there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tackle, I mean, a tight end should even... No, he shouldn't he mess should. with him at all, should he? He I mean, shouldn't. He shouldn't. He's screwing all. up the read any that, time he steps down. That's that's a stick slug look. And any time he steps down, he can't. I mean, that's that's wrong. So we got a stick slug look here. So I mean, that's exactly right. He's wrong there. I like what the center did either on that tilted nose. He should have been here, mm -hmm. right here, blocking that referee. Mm -hmm. Right there, he should have had that cut off right there. And see what the guards doing. So we're we're way wrong here, and we're wrong here. These are young kids again, aren't they? Or is this your? This is our my starting. Is it front the group? You, mm -hmm. The team you. But this was a very early, early game. Was it? Yeah. That's the one you blew them out. Yep. And that starting uh, right guard was a com converted defensive down lineman that I had for one year. Whoops. Penetration. <laughs> but you want a boy. No heels in the old backfield. That's not good. Yeah. Okay, well, A block this. Should be A in there. Okay. So it's that 30 look. Should slug this. Kevin saw that backer come in, so he climbed right now in the back. Now you say slug that, you slug there or you triple outside? Well, let's go back and see the pole front here. This was out of state and had some screwy fronts. See if we can see it off the end zone, off of the line. Yeah. Okay, it's a three, one, two, three, four, five. It's that three, five with a diamond look in it. Okay. So right here, we were releasing our tight end to okay. here. We were A blocking this and we were slugging to this. Gotcha. Okay, and he would seal this off. All right, and he would free release to here yeah. or here. That three five. Okay. Now here, so you understand. I know you guys do. Pretty clear read right here. Isn't yeah, it's clear read. <laughs> See, we're in zero flip. Okay. Uh -huh. We're in zero flip. So we anticipated the guy walking out. Okay. So we're going to run 38. He's got the cut wall. Okay. Now we're bringing our full back. We got B right. He's got first force. Okay. We're running 38. There's our read. Never read linebacker. There's our first read. There it is. That nose or whatever it is, are getting a little trouble. Is that mm -hmm. is he cutting that guy? What is he, a one? Yeah, let's go back and see here. We'll pick it up. Oh, god dang it. Hit that pause button. Then I'll respond. Would you want him to cut him, or 
Yeah, he plays out. I don't know. He, uh, we want to see him, you know, get him reached. All right, we're not, we're not big on cutting in that hole like that. Yeah, right. He's pretty good here. He's got to keep stair stepping and, and climb up. He lets him get over top of him. Yeah. And I think something else too that happens here is his guard. Yeah, that's see that hip yeah. go away. Yeah. All right, he ought to climb the linebacker. Right. That's not a that's not a read. We don't have to push that guy. Yeah. You know that's that's that secondary read. So yeah. he should be climbing here that and watch what he does. Cool. See. Yeah. He pushes him. You know, and if you get that, then that back we see it. The back should cut underneath that. Right. I think that guard should have been climbing earlier. That hip disappeared. They got a nice stadium. You know, the Olympics were there. Who is this? Yeah, this is Southern, Southern Utah. Utah. All right. And they had, this is a really nice stadium. They had a nice field house, boxes over here. And then the Olympic torch was there. They brought it through. Mm -hmm. So on, on not this end, but on the opposite end, they have a really nice weight room with the big pillars. I mean, it looks like you're in the Olympic stadium. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he should be out here. Out yep, there should be our slug. Okay. And we just didn't keep climbing to this backer. The middle backer that drops all the way back. Yeah. Runs over the top. Yeah. yeah. Now See. on that, I mean, nobody's really going to want to get him. Yeah. They? You know, it'd been nice because this guy slanting in. It'd been nice for that tackle to. But I can't ask him. He to takes pass that backer out. right there to run yeah, through to him. Right. I mean, he's got. Yeah, I can't ask. You can't ask a guy to pass him up. Okay. So you know, really, what you'd like to have seen is this guard. You know, keep coming, but it's you it's, it's tough. There's Ron some gray use, area. Ron uses those crutches. She bought them back. I, I think she said Coach Mo. Oh. Maybe this Doc at McDonald. I don't know. This is not good. I left it, you know, I left it on there. I don't you come in. We'll let you come in here. We can get you a seat. Where's Toby? Hating life. Hating life. Little Joe? His coffee cup's right there someplace. Okay, now here's the boss that we talked about, the boss mm -hmm. concept. We get a good look at this. Oh shit, this is me. Oh, that's not that sweet, huh? You never got through there. Yeah. We didn't do a good job on the read. Declaring the read. Exchange fronts, okay. This is what we call an exchange front. On all exchange fronts, on boss on 36 and 38, he will test release. Okay, so that means now person exchange, he will test to the first force. Okay, and then he is here, and then the full back is here. Okay, it's like we were talking about earlier. Really. Yeah, no, not full back. Didn't get there. So any exchange front, we're going to test release that. And that was in wheel seal? Yeah, I, this, this here must have got mixed in when we took him off the computer because this is not bossed. Well, let's pull back M8. Yeah. Fullback M8, boys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's an MA on the fullback. This is 39 boss. Fullback should be right here. See it? Should 
turn out here, okay, turn out, base, gap here, the backside backer. So that's an MA on the fullback. Job. Pretty good job here by a young offensive lineman controlling the read. I'd like to see a little bit more stretch on him. Okay. He got it back for him. I don't see it. I mean, looks like he ought to be. He ought to press that. Follow that fullback. Mm -hmm. Did good movement. Yeah, we did. I agree. And that's what we watch so carefully in films. Is that back? I don't feel you need to cut that back. So, you know, on that takeoff sheet, when we take the game off, mm -hmm. we just indicate it's poor running. Mm -hmm. So this guy would get a one. Our, our grading system, if you execute proper technique and you execute that technique and your man does not figure into the play, you get a two. If you use improper technique, but you don't necessarily get your job done the way it should be, you get a one. And if you miss an assignment, a mental error, MA, you get a zero. It'll be great on that scale. So this is poor running, but uh, I don't like what the right guard's doing. That's a bunch of crap. It's boss, okay, and he knows that. So the fullback's here. We're turning out here. We test release all exchange fronts here, mm -hmm. okay. So there's the boss guy. All right, here's our gap. Now, what does this guy do? Oh, he's got to be one. He can come off that backer. Yeah, he can come off this backer. Hell, this is a that's a loose three. It's not a tight three. He'll get he'll get that absorbed right now. Yeah. Ah, uh, he slanted. But I don't like his footwork. See? Yeah, he right. stepped back side. I don't there. like it. See it? False yeah. step. And there, boom. There's a the problem. But the back should have been pressing that gap. Okay, this is a uh, this is a one one formation one flip. Okay, we'll match it out up here. Okay, this is 39 boss. So here we're turning out fullbacks boss in the year. Okay, he's slamming in the tackle pit. very many but he did on that one you're right satisfied with our boss as we were at regular 8 9. We averaged 4.8 yards per carry on this one.
no movement. Mm-hmm. We're getting stuffed here. Um, yeah. Set back dancing. Yeah. That's no good. They're loading the box up on us. Well, that's what we see on Friday night. Yeah. But still, we should, you know. Yeah, this is just this poor technique by the right guard. Center got over nice. Okay, so the right guard here is killing us. There's our read. That's that's four by the right guard. There we go. There, now we're talking. Now we got some movement. Huh? So there's there's our turnout. There's our boss. Pull back, good job. Nice cut by the back. Good job with the center. Oops. <laughs> I'd say there's some problems with that one. Yeah. Tight end. Think he was getting some help? Yeah, yeah. He, he truly thought he was getting some help here. <coughs> Looks like he was test releasing. Okay, he should have been based here. All right, we should have been tripled up to here. Tim, are you gonna make those copies? Keep just checking them. Yeah, how many cops are you making? Just one. Just one copy of everything we're doing? Yeah. Okay. You bet you, sir. Keep rolling. Okay, now this is what Boss should truly look like, okay? We're turning out here. All right, we've got a good, strong uh, gap here. Actually, this is, you know, our slug look. And now the fullback's up here. Okay, so now we're able to take this backside. Good job. Got a good wall here. Now who blew it? They're tied in. Okay. Let that guy back in there. So this is what you were talking about earlier, Kevin. You know, we got that boss scheme now. This allows us. All right. We're working this. We, we won't call bump, but this is kind of like a bump concept to us, where we'll just stay really tight here on tight this. Bump back. Yeah, and we'll bump back, okay, because we're bossing in here. Okay, boys, here's your radar. This is against Mankato. I won't even run this one long because it's bullshit defense. It looks like a bike will try to put it in on us on the spring. It's kind of what we look like in the springtime, 707. <laughs> 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 the jokers are coming from everywhere, <laughs> dropping from everywhere and everything. <laughs> yeah. Now, see, they weren't, they weren't as bad this year as they were a year ago. All right? Yeah. But this is a stand-up nose. You see a stand-up nose. Yeah. Yeah. And see... Yeah. They're stunting him with what we call an Isaac's strong. So what we told our kids here, I guess the good point of this is that we told them, you know, just track, stay in your track. And we end up rushing for large, I mean, we had a pretty good rush game against these guys, but it was tough at first. We're just, you know, getting hammered here. Hard to game plan that crap. Okay.
okay, now here's against a good solid defensive front. They know what the hell they're doing. This is Montana State. Okay. It's the Bobcats. Yep. Thundercats. Okay, and you can see that we're. Our quarterback really didn't hold this backside in. He peaked. He made the tackle. The Bobcat. Yeah. Don't hold that in there, is it? What's that, Kevin? That's the quarterback's not hold that in there. No, that's the yeah. line down in there. Yeah. Make that's it a plot and get a piece of it. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Yeah. See, we didn't hold it. Yeah, right. We didn't hold a half and a half. Okay, so here, whoa, come on. Okay, this would be you personnel. That's two tight ends, two backs, one receiver. Okay, we're in a one wing. You right. 39 box. So turn out, declare, boss here, gap to here. Okay, so you're running on that safety. Alright, so we controlled the edge here with our U back. Let's see if you did it. Yep. There's our fullback on the box. Pretty damn nice looking play. We use quite a bit of U personnel when we get into tough territory. Alright, so that's our wing guy here. Good, square up, settle down in the B gap like we talked about. <coughs> Replace your tackle on the end wheel seal. He's here, there's the read, and we should be gapping this back to the spec. The fullback's here. Tackle end up picking him up. FAU. I thought this was some good defense here, boy. We went back to our Hound 3 run here. We heard him on some Hound stuff because right here we got this exchange look. So we'll ink block that. So the tight end's here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're out here. And the fullback was now all the way back to Mike. We heard him with some Hound stuff. Pretty good job of the fullback here. Okay. Guard should continue up. Good, and he did. Fullback did a pretty damn nice job reading that. Guard didn't finish. I mean, it's not always a pretty play, but we're getting three yards. We're asking for four. should have some bootleg now. Okay. <coughs> we can run we can run boot here because we're really chasing. Okay, so he's got we got the deep over. We got the run back out here. Okay. He's got he's working up ten and going to fifteen. And he's working ten 
going to 22. And then the deep run back. moving here on the three. Sound like that. See he's trying to he's trying to club him outside too early instead of stretching him. You know, what we talked about here in our technique stuff, really getting a good stretch on him first. He tried to declare that way too soon instead of stretching him. turning this out turn out we're here we base block this center comes over on a gap he calls gap he should work back here there he goes but we're in made right here there's our read was against Adam State and this was game plan. Okay, we were gonna put our pull back here. Alright, and then we would have tripled back inside with this. That's our right guard in Texas. Neat kid. Where's he from? Oh, he's from Texas. I can't, I can't remember what part of Texas he was from. There's that old thing we talked about last night. Head down, ass up. That's a pretty vulnerable position. Don't want to be in that nowadays. So this was my game plan in here with this. We took him right to force. I really like that. Mm -hmm. That sends the fullback to force. That concept. The only thing about sending him that backer and it, boy, it seemed like a cluster so much just to hump up. It gets pretty tight, just, doesn't it? It does. It's a right. long. This seems to get better flow yep. and opens things up. Mm -hmm. Just really get that backer coming over the top. And yep. Yeah. That is. Yeah, he picks up the DN that the tackle misses. Watch. Our fullback was an animal, boys. We got some young guys in here now. Yeah, yeah. Here, here lies the problem. Tackle. Watch the tackle. Mm -hmm. There's no stretch or anything on that. There's the read. Okay. Our fullback saved our butt on that one. <laughs> See, here we are over here. We've already, we've already yeah. seen it. We're already pissed off over here. Watch the sideline. <laughs> Ooh, ugly. That's ugly. Watch the back dip. Who's that up his face? Who hits him right there? Yeah, let's go back. 
safety. Cross the T, doesn't it? That's mm -hmm. Got a chance. They got him to get there. Come right on down here. I think there's a pretty good little crease right there. Now, you reading the six or you reading the, We're reading the next guy inside the four, four aisle right there? We're reading right here. Here's our read. Right there. Yeah, if it hit down here, we get that one guy right there. I think it's going to be up. Right there. All the three big butts in there. You seen that back dip? Seen dip? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was that dip. And I don't like that dipsy dip. What's going on? <laughs> oh, Jamar Fars, I love the kid. The, the harder they're hitting, baby, the wetter I'm going to start splitting. Here we are. Now we're in a. Uh, we're going to flip, or we go zoom. You want to keep these guys in the weight room? Yeah, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get red at the midway point. Okay. <coughs> yeah, he's got the end. We'll see a watch. <coughs> <laughs> but you know what? You don't need a heck of a lot. You know what he made him do? Oh, God. Oh, all right. What the heck? He made him, he lost him outside. Yeah. Made him go outside of it. Made him go all the way around. Oh. Gotta go back here. That's the good news. There we go. <laughs> no, we're losing. Like blood. No, we're losing somebody up front. Backside backer. No, safety button. Oh, it is backside. Yes, backside backer. Coach, you're right. Let's see what the left guard does. Yeah, that's tough. Pretty good run lane. Yep. <laughs> I like this, guys. I really like our U package. So we protect the edge now. Okay. We're in double yeah, tight. Like, what, what, what do you call it, boss? Boss? Why, what do we call boss or why do we why call it? Why do you call it boss? boss? Backer on strong safety. But backer on strong safety. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's that, that damn, uh, that's uh, Boomer Sison. Yeah. Baker Bruce. Baker you Bruce. Bruce, because Bruce brings to your boss. Remember that on ESPN? <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. It was there on ESPN, uh -huh. ain't it? Then they make Bob, uh, back on back. Yep, Bob call and boss call. Mmm, boy, let's see here. Oh, full back. Oh. Okay, if I can stop that. Fullback should have been bossing to here. Okay. Because we're going to turn out here. We're going to declare here. Guard should be coming over. Although he's sitting in a really loose five, he's still going to come over here. Declare any cylinder if there's anything left there to declare. If not, he climbs to the back or we turn out here, we boss here. Alright. And we end will seal. And this backside guard should scoop this guy. They're trying. Fullback. That hurt us on that. And I'll tell you, man, that fullback didn't hurt us very many times. Ooh, a lot of dancing. Okay, so it's the same thing. Turn out. Okay, we'll stick, slug this. All right, the fullback should be on. Right there. There's the fullback guy. Guard worked up. Let's see what the back did here. 
Watch the read. Okay, back should be where? Outside. Oh, inside? Right there. I thought I had, I thought so. Yeah. See the read? I See the read stretch? Okay. I thought with the tackle getting outside leverage on it, I thought we were going outside. Yeah, and that, you're right. Tim, that might have, might have confused him a little bit because he's got leverage, see? Yeah, so, yeah I was going outside. Yeah, you? and that, that's that's true. That's probably what he saw. Well, I saw a little bit of numbers. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And that's what he saw. So, you know, we can't fault it. That's, you know, exactly right. I just like to make it, have him make a decision here. Yeah. Yeah, and go with it, mm -hmm. you know, and not, not give me that ACL crap. Oh, we had one and we just got rid of thank God. <laughs> From seven yards to the last scrimmage, you might take 25 steps. Yeah. Huh? That may not be an exaggeration. Okay, now here's wrong. This is wrong up here. I'm not saying it's wrong, man. It's just you've got to be, you know, that smart, what I refer to as SMRT. <laughs> Watch it. Okay, square up in the B gap. All right. Be an extension of your tackle. Start looking at this. This guy's outside. There's your biggest threat. Yeah. See? Now he should be up here mm -hmm. on the end. We'll seal. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now we're bossing here. Because it's an end wheel seal. Right there was the wheel. Exactly. Yep. It's not an end seal. Right. should have them here on this front. Mm -hmm. Right guard is four. Oh, what was the score there? Back up to now, right? I think it was tight. Yeah, it was a tight game. There's a nice looking play. Good job by the center. Look at that. Tom would like to see this. There's that gap. Gap in three, we declare this. Wait, oh, we should have been a little bit better on the declare here. One bat on that right tackle. See what we handle here with the three uh, center. We got our butts kicked on. Didn't that. give enough ground right there in the center. Yeah. He didn't get over, and that's you know that's the thing you got to really work hard on is that those steps, the technique. Right. We got penetration here, so the reads already disrupted. Somebody's missing in here. Penetration. Jump right back. You watch the Honda. Yeah, Honda Honda's there. Yeah, this is at Cal Davis. They're building a brand new stadium. They're fully funded. They entered the. Yeah, they entered the uh, <laughs> Division One Double A same year we did, and they're already fully funded. So. They're going to be tough. There's 
three. Declared that nicely. Okay. Now the back should be cutting. Full back's trying to read it. Back cut up. There we go. Well, it started with the outside. I tell you what, outside half. Like yeah. Guard with the outside half. Yeah. And uh, and he turned red because there's nobody up on the inside. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got an MA here. So I know White House and running backs coaches are here. And this is something we'll we'll clean up right away. Okay. He's got to get here. See that? Now we're running eight thirty-eight boss, but we ask him, you know, the cut wall. And now we'll run that New England. Quarterback keep past New England, so coach will fake the 38, fake 38, quarterback keep past left New England. He runs in there like he's going to, you know, cut wall, and then boom, he breaks it. Here. We hit it. The guy we cut gets back up. See that on the center? Right there. Yeah, good and it's a good job by the fullback. Good job by the fullback on his read. See where? Uh, and that center shouldn't be. He shouldn't be cutting. Mm. We've got clean. Yeah. We had some decent boss plays against Cal. Backside. Good job, Coach. Therein lies the the key. See it? Uh -huh. yeah, Backside. If that gets if that gets cut off, yeah, you cut it's that usually off, clean. That's right. Because you get so much flow over top. Right. You know, you get all that. You got to have. Top. It's almost a bust over here. Yep. Yeah. But on the backside, it's a almost when we got it, yeah. and then bam. Yep. Yeah. And that's that's a good job. Another pretty, you know, pretty clean safety's making the play there. See our read, good. Pull backs up on the box, boom. And that's that safety. And he's a tough nut. Mm -hmm. That's number eight. I'll tell you right, right now. Yep. So we're uh, we're looking to game plan a little bit differently next year against Cal. You guys see our we got bad plays too. I left them in there. <laughs> it's okay, that's how we hear you coach. We don't get him cut off. Backside left tackle. And that guy's got a chance to play in the NFL. See that? I don't like his step. See what he did there? And that's the thing I hound him on. I'm reaching, I'm scooping a guy, and he stepped here, he pivoted. He's got to step here. Right. And he didn't open up and step. So as a result, we're not going to get him cut off. Let this run now. When we run bounce, 
okay. What we're going to do on valves, we got different ways of running it, but here we got a three technique. We're going to George call it and pull the guard around. Okay. And that's we're what, just trying to get outside now. Okay. That's what Tom wants to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we've done some. Mm -hmm. We've done it with tall sweep hand sweep. So, mm -hmm. And we've even run our stretch kind of like that some too. Yeah, that's what he was saying. So, yeah. I think maybe uh, that might be something we call better, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we call it 38 bounce. And we have a couple different schemes, but right here, we base this, we George block this, okay? So the tackle is going to be down on the three. Mm -hmm. And the guard's going to pull around and read the tight end's block. Okay. If the tight end takes him out, the guard will pull up inside, okay? If the tight end happens to get this guy leveraged, the guard will pull all the way around it. The back's reading too? And the back, we really tell the back now on this, to be honest with you, Coach, he is thinking outside. Right. Thinking right. outside. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Get outside. Yep. He missed this by one year, did he? <laughs> Actually, he turned, uh, we had a little back. He would run, for you, he would run how to bounce. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that would been his deal. How to bounce, huh? Yeah, inside zone bounce. Now, here's the, here's the hard part, and we got pretty good at this. This tackle on bounce, you've got to get to this backer, right? you got to get Mike shut off. Well, this tackle, what we instruct him to do, he's got to wall this guy. He can't come down here and just pulverize this guy. He's got to wall him up so the center knows that he's got to escape to get to this backer. And this is pretty job, pretty well done here. Crappy. I don't like the down block. It's a pivot watch. Tim, I got those tapes right up there. Okay. And just let I me mean, do something more. That one comes out of being number three. Uh, so the orange tapes are ready to go? No, 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 no. The little tapes for this camera. You can watch that stuff right there. I'm going to keep taping when that red light goes out. A little third tape or something. And they're up there too? Yeah, the whole the package. I'll take a new one out and I got them stacked over there. What about the tapes we're copying? Well, we'll check that one right there. And Have you got one. any extra blanks? We can just down here some old 99 tapes. Okay. Okay. No, I don't that's a pivot. Mm -hmm. That's bad. But look at the center. Watch the center get the big back. Watch. God dang it, Donald. Get the right button. Okay. Let's to cut off right there, uh, th that first step's going to be up upfield, yep. even though it's going to be at an angle. Mm -hmm. And this is just really bad job. I know you guys. You know, you're not involved in the line, but that, that's, mm -hmm. you know, the result was good, but it was, first step is critical. Now watch this, baby. Yeah. Another George call. We'll run George and Ted, and you'll see some Ted in here, too. Ted is with our tackle and tight end. Tight end, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. so we're George in this again. Here he comes. Good job. Center. That's the tough spot. See how the center's got to escape that? That went to that back. He kind of took a straight vertical. Yeah, he did. He didn't quite get there. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it, therein lies a little bit of the trouble, you know, because you got that block coming down and your center's still escaping. All right? And sometimes. You know, that three technique has shut that center off, and now your tackle has to climb. So you, you, but you would not increase your split there to help? Yeah. No, to help we're, pretty, we're pretty standard with our splits. You guys call that the bark, didn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That big ass rubber big thing. Big ass rubber thing. <laughs> I gotta take that back, Bill. Enjoy that back there in Colorado. It is. Just the one that I said about oh, 1145 is doing, you know, all that bitch up, yep. and that stuff in that deal. After, yeah. after a loss. It's really a big ass rubber thing, isn't it? Now, Coach, we have another. Uh, we're just getting in a lot of calls here. That's why we don't run downs very often, all right? But we could, what we call dog call this, 
at that slant of that three slants in the center we'll dog call it if we see it okay and we'll, we'll call it based upon game planning but if they're pinching that three a lot we'll go ahead and dog call this dog means he overtakes now he goes the backer okay but there's 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 so many calls involved in here in this bounce that we we don't even worry about that we're going to pet it or we're going to george it and that's just the way we leave it i know it'd be hard down yeah, impossible could a could you sit or get all the way out yeah yeah and we we've done that and you guys are sharp you know you bring up a good point we've taken our center and we've pulled him we've horned him okay so and we really we refer to that as a backside freddy now we're pulling our center and the center can't get cleanly through there we just ask him to go ahead and horn all the way around that three okay okay and it, now you still george with the guard yep. tackle and he still has yep. we still george here yeah yep. we still george with the garden tackle and now the center's coming around on a horn okay yeah and we did go to that and that clears up you know trying to dog call it and read it you know and climb up so hell you just go with the what we call a freddy or a horn and he horns it We didn't run the bounce play very often, guys. I think we ran it 10 times. I wanted to get here so we could see some Ted because we Ted block it. Over. Oh, there there we go. Yeah, now we're going to Ted it. Okay. you see our center he never lacked effort tell you what he was a hard working son of a gun would be a Ted. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Still this George. is still George because there's the three. I, I got my front got my front mixed up here. This is George called. Okay. It's up on the center. Yeah it is. Yeah. And see that's where we got to that that stuff with that dog call if he's slanting a lot he yeah. just work out and center come over mm -hmm. but i like your idea we just got to a point where we were always just pulling the center on most of our george calls just good job by the guard Is this Alex Gibbs the same one that we have? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Which one do you have? I don't know the name That's, of it. That is yours. Oh, this is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've got a bunch of other Alex Gibbs tapes, so okay. I can uh, copy for you guys. Well, that'd be great. Uh, what if I grab that pass installation tape? Coach, no, not at all. Grab it. I think this is almost done. 
Uh, it's blinking. Is that why? Well, I don't. Yeah, I think it's getting close. It says four minutes. So it's now, what happens there, Coach? What, what are we going to do when that happens? Nothing. It should come back. Yeah, I just missed. No. What are we doing here? It might be. It may not be the first play, Coach. Yeah. yeah. You may have to rewind it. You don't screw it. Yeah, exactly. That was Hound. That was Hound too, with an MA by the fullback that we just converted. That's what that was. Yeah, it wasn't rewound all the way, huh? Yeah. Right here. You okay? Yeah. Uh huh. So we we might open that door a little bit, give me a little bit more light. I think it's remote now. I can't see that VCR. No. Is it done? I think it's done. Okay. Cool. ran some special team stuff, but this is Vincent Jackson, our stud line out. Close. Oh. He looks good. He's the best athlete on that field. Yes, he is. Coach, he is 6'6", 235 pounds, wide receiver. He's our ex. Okay, here we are. Here's your Omaha. So it's 360 Omaha. All right, so he should be on the out. Omaha's are out. We should have an out over here. Okay, and on the tight end side. Okay. Run stick. So this is what we call 360 double Omaha's. So tight ends are running the stick. And the stick is six and out? Yeah, six and out. Mm -hmm. And again on that, it's throw away from rotation. Okay. Best look side. This is 39 Mongo, and we're in a zero week, okay, so we got 39 Mongo on. So Mongo means man, we're going to be here, we're going to gap, all right, back. Fullback's going to block Wanda, he's going to block first force, he's going to block force. Ha! MA quarterback, I remember that. Okay. In the huddle, he gave 38. So it's a bust play here. Okay, this is 382 scat Y stick lion. Okay, so coach up here, you're gonna have your stick. All right, he's gonna come out, run the go. There's your flat, so it's working off a three step drop, no motion. All right, he's no longer a read. You just got the go. There's your flat. There's your stick, and over here we're running lion. Five yard slant, three yard slant. Okay, see it? There's your lion. There's your Omaha, or excuse me, stick. It's just 382 scat, wide stick, lion. Alright? And your Y was uh, to the, just by formation, was to the right hand side? Yeah, this is out of a, this is out of a two double wing. Okay? Double wing. So we're in Tiger two double wing, B right outside. So is it three double wing would be the Tiger on this uh -huh. outside? We would take our true tight end and okay. be over here. Okay. 
Okay, we'll run a wide stick line. And the fronts, the coverage is what we call one free. Okay. And free. Now in the line, okay, anytime we get stick protection on now in the line, we're empty in the backfield, so we're going to LA protect. All right. We got the pattern built into the quarterback's onside, and we want to protect his backside. So we'll fan the backside, okay? So it's LA. Two big call, he blocks base, he's blocking base, he's got the stick, he's got the go. Okay? All right. There's your stick concept. There's your lion. You hit the lion. Okay, this is how I'm to run after the punt. But see, man, you can't see all the way back here, but all the way continues out here forever. This is all practice field. Man. Okay. This is where the Denver Broncos are at. Oh, I got you. Okay, this is Butler Hancock. This is our athletic facility here, our field house, so to speak. Okay. And this, guys, is going to be completed this summer. This is all going to be bleachers brought all the way out to here. Okay. And then a field house is going in here with concessions and shower and all that. That's going to be done this summer. Okay. Yeah. And then this, if you want to hear the truth of it, and you know, it's one of those things I believe it when I see it checked in the mail. This is supposed to be expanded at $44.4 million. Huh. So it's going to come all the way out to here. It's going to be an expansion on it. This is how to run. So you just you just hang out with the Broncos the whole time? Yeah, coach I did for about five years solid, six years. You know when Bum Coach was there? He he would invite me into meetings. Shanahan, I had to do a blood test. <laughs> okay, this is zero flip. Okay, we got right here we got zero flip F right, how to run. Okay, so he's going to block first force out here. Going to try to. So hopefully he's trying to work inside to here. We're going to turn because it works off of that, what I talked about last night, Kim. Yes. It's that turn protection, okay? And the fullback now is supposed to block the Mike linebacker. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he lifted. Yeah, coach. Check this well, out. I think he was just zeroing in on the safety the whole way. Yeah, check this out. A week ago, he was a <coughs> he was a third team defensive end. Okay, so he's pretty much a crash course kind of guy. We'll turn this out. Turn out. We declare this right now. This is our read. I don't care where he takes him. We talked about that last night. There's the fullback, and we LA this back to Wanda, and we're running on this guy. Now, here's what I tell the tight ends, coach. If this guy gets really wide, he's no longer a threat, hell, let the defensive set him out there. Okay, I'm going to keep him there. This ball hits a gap. I'm going to flash him and go to safety. So the tight end should really flash this guy and then go to safety right now. But he can't get there. See that? Yeah, you drew that up last night. Yeah, I did. Okay, that was for plus six. This is two jet. We'll go through the patterns here for you all. Okay. And I apologize, man. I wish I had this. Uh, yeah, appreciate hey, everything you've done. No, I appreciate you guys having me yeah. out. What you got, man? You guys are yeah. great. You got out? Yeah, man. All right, see you, bud. Okay. Coach, this would be two jet Z comeback Zeb slice. All right, we're out of uh, our Zeb personnel. So the formation is two out. Okay, two out. This is our Zeb guy. Okay, so we got Z comeback Zeb slice. There's our slice route. Okay. How big is that? Really, what this is is uh, your arrow. He's going to angle in five to six. All right. And then break out. What he wants to try to do, okay, is push this in. All right. Bring this guy in and then snag out. And here's our comeback. Okay. Our comebacks are at 22. And said that he was able to come out one day. So 
which this is a dagger, okay? We're running extra on a dagger. So there's Zeb, slice, and that's X runs the basic, okay. we're called basic cross or dagger, okay? Okay. All right. Is that like just a deep dig? Yes, exactly. Okay, it's like a deep dig now. You know, we get cover five. We'll look at this very carefully, okay? Because you get that big hole in there, cover five. Cover three, we're going to get the comeback, okay? Because now cover three, you got safety in the middle, so you lose your dig, okay? All right, and cover three, you should be able to hit your comeback because you're one on one in the corner, okay? So that's how we read that out, all right? Off of that. Now the protection, we should see it here. Okay, it's, uh, this is two jet. So he's got the C gap, he's got the B gap, he's got the A gap. We fan the back side, he's got the C gap. Okay. Tight end was wrong, he could have kept coming down here and we didn't stay square. And that was from plus 13. 37 Boss Fargo. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll run this a couple times, the box, okay, and from the box we'll look at it, and we'll watch here, we'll go ahead and Fargo. Now we didn't do it against our guys, but we go ahead and hand this off, watch. Okay, so that's our boss Fargo, 37 boss Fargo. And Fargo, how do you hand off to it, how do you call it? We would go, we would go 37 boss. Fargo and we tell the quarterback go ahead and give it. Okay? So we would go to a true 37 boss. Nobody knows except the quarterback. And yep. 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 Quarterback. And, you know, we'll we'll actually, by game plan, we'll we'll call it give. Alright? We'll go ahead and go 37 boss Fargo give. So we know now we're going to the Z. See the backs cross over J step, press the B gap. Pull back as him boss. Cut back. Not bad. Okay, coach, this is the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, this is Zeb two out. Okay. Zeb two out. This is Zeb personnel. So here's our out formation. It goes in, out. And if we called outside, he would cut his split, and he'd be outside of X. Okay? And this is our Z. So we're in a two out. We're running 37 call. So we got to match block this. So force call. He's got to come here. All right? And we got to gap to here. We got to gap to four. Right there. MA, left guard. Okay, this is our 45 0. Alright, this is out of, uh, this here is out of uh, Zeb. Five out. Okay. And we have not had much success with that one. <laughs> They blitz the toe here. So. What was it? What were we trying to do? Okay, now what what we'll do here, this is on 45-0. All right, we'll go shotgun, Z5 out. Okay, and what he'll do is this comes off the old Grand Valley State deal. This quarterback is going to ride this mesh here. He's going to read that DN. Gotcha. That DN even sneezes inside, he pulls it, and he's off and running. Okay, now they, they blitz this, okay? We man block this side, all right? So he's he's base stretching out, he's stretching out, he's here, okay? The center now will block back in this case, and we'll give a guts call. Guts tell the, tells the guard that he's pulling, okay? And he pulls right to the A gap. Now are we? Um, okay, so we're trying to get up. Okay, so this isn't like zone. This is an A gap play. Yeah, this is totally. You know, we we have a lot of offense. And truly, we're a zone team, but coach, we run single back stuff. We'll give you enough look. Okay. And this is what we call 45-0. Now, if this were a three technique, coach, say this guy's in a three. Right. 
we would give a calm call, and that means that the tackle is going to pull, and the guard would block out on the three. Does he try to just get to the right a gap? That's it, coach. You're exactly right. He's just going. He's going to pull right now. Fold one man. Yeah, he's going to fold one man and get up here. Oh, he's going all across the center. Yep. He's oh, going to get up here. And he's okay. looking to take on the first. Same thing the guard would do. He should have been blocking that guy right here. That guard. You know, that's that's not fair because the defense got they got the time and they yep. to snap. Yeah. I'm afraid to hit my fast forward button sometimes. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I just not used to it. It's different if you tap it and if you hold yeah, it. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. That's what I've been doing. So I'm used to hitting on my uh, cowboy remote. I'm used to tapping it and it pauses or comes back to steal or whatever. What you guys are all over that punt. Y'all are, so yep. I don't know if you're turning them loose or is there a scheme? Yeah, that was against our, uh, that was against our young, young guys there. Okay, we've got here, coach, we've got uh, Zev 2 out. No, excuse me, we're in zero flip. Yeah, we're in zero flip. One flip, I'm sorry, one flip. There's our tight end, one flip, yeah, it could be zero flip. That'd be zero zoom. Okay, so here's our one flip. And we're going to run. Right here, we're going to go 38 toss. And we're going to match block it okay. Fullback's now able to come up here. And we should gap back all the way back. And we're reading it just like yep. the wide zone. Yep. And we're blocking it. Just like the wide zone. Just like the ball. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing, uh-huh, there you go. The only thing we try to do is we'll, we'll, we'll tell the lineman, you know, take more of a jump hook, okay, because right. we're tossing. But here we should stick this. That should be a stick and that should be a slug, okay? And we toss the ball. And the fullback should be right there on that backer. There we go. And I didn't look great, you know. But we got four yards on that. All the yards. Yeah. Okay, this next one, Coach, I really like this pattern. I think you'll like it. Okay, this would be 82 scat hang. We're in Zeb 2 out. Okay, B right. So this is our Zeb guy. Here's our X. Okay, Zeb replaces the fullback. So we've got Zeb 2 out. So our tight end's up here. And this is 82 hang. Okay, we got the short cross over the ball. He runs the in, okay, and we read that Mike linebacker. That Mike linebacker saw, we immediately go to Y. Okay, he's got the flat, and there's our hook. Okay, so we've got flat, hook, short cross. Okay, we call it a short cross. Shallow he's, cross. He's got the right. Yeah. Short cross and shallow cross. Short cross, yeah, and shallow cross. Short cross, he's hooked uh -huh. right over the ball at six yards. Okay. okay. Coach, this is a great pattern against, I mean, we, we love it against, you know, your cover five. We, we, work, we work this side of it quite often in cover five. Okay, and on the back side of that, they've got a hank. Okay. He's at uh, 12 yards, working in, and he's got the flat. <coughs> now up top, that's a hank with a short cross, a flat and a curl. Yep. Okay. Yep. Exactly. Yep. We got the hank backside, and that's our 82 hank up here. Anything tell the quarterback to work? His right side. Yeah, he's going to watch immediately, watch him, he's going to read the Mike Backer. If Mike Backer drifts out of there, okay, he's going to work the short cross. Okay, so if he deepens up, he's going to hit the Mike. Excuse me, he's going to hit the Y. He saw Mike fly out of there, but they locked him, see? So he lost that, so he's going to come off of one and go to two. 
If we feel we have leverage right now, we'll work three, okay? But it didn't work the, the two man side over here? No. You know, if he does, he's got to see a little bit earlier than that. So it's really a half ball or half field read, okay? Half field read. Right. He can come back to this, okay? Depending upon coverage. Okay, this page here, we're uh, two zoom wide. Okay, I'll go back here. Okay, zoom, remember now? Z, X, excuse me, was out here in our flip. Now we've gone zoom. Okay. So now X is inside of Z. Okay, I thought Z would still be off the ball. Well, here's what we came up with, Coach. You asked a good question. We had a lot of confusion. So nine out of ten times, unless it's due to the pattern scheme, our slot is always off the ball. Okay. If you watch the Broncos, he's always off the ball. Okay. All right. So that's what we went to. And this is X bingo cross. Okay. X bingo cross. Whoa, whoa. Come on, baby. Okay, the X bingo cross is here. All right. Because there's our X. And he's got the alert post. Okay. Okay, that's not that's not shallow. That's just a cross. Mm-hmm. No. It should be breaking at 17. Okay. And this is an alert post. Whoa. And now our tight end on all bingo crosses, Z bingo cross, X bingo cross, okay, he's got a shallow cross. Okay, that's what I was asking. Because yeah. I've seen, I know that Hunter Simmons runs it in his right, and that landmark's two yards off the ball. Yeah. And if, if Mike wants to wall, he'll go under. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I was thinking that that is your shallow cross, it's just yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And this is nothing but a go out here. It's not even a read. Okay, we read the high low. We read off the bingo cross here. Okay, we'll alert the post. If it's cover three, we'll never throw the post. It's just an alert. That official is that a coach? That was an official. We get officials that come out. Okay, this is uh, this should be one week. Thirty-eight Mongo. Yep, it's one week. Thirty-eight Mongo. Penetration. Disrupts your running back to read. Okay, now we're forced calling this, alright? So full back should be to here and we should gap to here, declare the read. So full back's here and we'll beat one this to Mike. Okay? Oh, you did because receiver. Yeah. He got in, he got in a force. Okay, good. Alright, so the quarterback, good. He gave an off call. Because I asked, I asked Tony to call it in the huddle. So he gave an off call here. So now we go back to our true scheme here. Let's check the back side. Two cuts. Yeah, very good. Yeah. He's dipping a little bit. I don't like it. But here, pretty good to clear with the guard. See him help here on the tackle. 
You know, it almost, if you have to be wrong with that, that pat that back, it's almost get almost the banana working back instead of inside out. You're right. At least it's now you're can right. be strong. You're right. right. If you're going to err, err on the side of that mm -hmm. and not on the upon the dip. Because mm -hmm. this is such a weak, they're already working yeah. outside. There's no. Yeah. You can't, can't get back. Get. You're right, coach. You can't get back. Yeah. Okay. Here's our play action pass. This is hound two, and this would be X and Y dig. Okay. Digs are at 17. All right. X and Y dig. So he's got to dig, and Y's got to dig. And it's hound protection. Okay. So he's going to fake up here. He's got the fullback. He's going to fake up in here. He's got sand. Okay, the strong safety. All these digs, we just sit out. We don't. We don't they've work got out. some. They got some option to them. They can snag to get open. Okay, you can snag out one yard or drive back to the ball. He makes that cornerback look tiny. Yeah. And here's our X dig. Oh, he just gives a little nudge. He is wide open. A little bump. Yep. See that? It's Trump strong. Now, that's our stud wide receiver, you know, and I like to humble him whenever I can. And I asked him, I said, you know what? You're thinking about being a first round draft choice and all? So you just got your ass cut. Why is that, coach? I see you didn't work back to the ball. Uh -huh. In the NFL, baby. He's buzzed. Yeah. He's done. Yeah. So he's got to work back to that ball. And you can see our hound protection. We'll turn this. Okay, so this would be LA. LA, yeah. Possible fan. We can really be strong now with our guard, okay, because we got a back faking up in there. So we can really pepper this. Pepper action to me is we up kick, okay? We're strong here, strong here. And then the fullback, off of his fake, okay, if he can get out, he should work across the ball here at a depth of, say, three to six yards, and he should work across the ball here to what we call like a slow flat. Actually, on the wide dig, he's got to run out of there because we don't want him setting and impeding that dig by Y. <coughs> All right, we're to two double wing. Okay, now this is our double tight end set. Two backs. Tiger to us is one back, two wide outs, two tight ends. Z and X, we're in a two double wing. Let me ask you a question. Um, I know um, uh, Division ones can transfer to you and play the next year. Yeah. Can the, can that kid leave your place and go go play Division One next year? Yeah, sit out of here. He has to, if he moves up, he goes up. He has to sit out of here. Yeah. What if a Division Two came to y'all? Well, y'all are Division Two. No, we're D One. You're D One. Division One. Okay. Yeah. What if a Division Two wanted to come up to you? Is that sit out of here? Uh, no, no. As long as he hasn't, as long as he hasn't fulfilled a one-time transfer status already. So if he's a one-time transfer, okay, he's immediately eligible. So a, a first time transfer to yeah. Division One could yeah. play the next year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's all it's all against that one Division One. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Okay, this was two. Uh, this was Tiger two double wing. All right, and we checked it over. Okay, and the reason we checked it over was right here. We went. We ran to the bubble here. Okay, so we ran it into the one technique. Okay. It just makes it easier, you know, you guys asked me earlier, uh, be honest with you, Tim, I don't care if we run it over here, but in the line, you know, I've got to work really hard to get, you know, some people gapped over. Now here, I can gap right up to back of here, no problem, see, because that one technique. Did you get a one? You got a three and a six and yeah. a one and a seven. Yeah. So, I, we instructed our quarterback against our guys, we're going to run it over to the one technique. Okay? Because now we got a three and we can get to this backer on a V1. And we'll declare this. 
Nice declare by that tackle. See that? Mm -hmm. Watch him. You should keep that inside hand tucked. See that? Now watch, watch his hand. Watch what he does with his hand. Tom would love to see this. Okay, I gotta find my slow. Watch what he does with that hand. See him club it? Yeah, is there a push pull there? Yeah, you okay. should be. We're grabbing. Yeah. And then we're. Okay. Yeah, and you, you being an offensive coach, I love you guys. You said grab. There is no such thing as holding. Mm -hmm. We're always grasping. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And you know, and we're those trying, defensive guys, you know what they're going to say. We're trying, I was trying to grab out, grab, grab out wide, mm -hmm. just inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they'll, they'll yeah. Get, now, if he starts to pull, mm -hmm. I can't pull back. If he starts no. to get away, I've got to move. Take him with his momentum. Right. Yeah. But I can't pull again. Right. Him. That's what we teach. We don't want to see him pulling. I mean, he's stretching. Right. We want to pull him here and push him here because he wants to go that way. If he wants to try to come inside, we pull here and push here. Yeah. Let him come inside. Now we got him sealed. See, I want to work, like, like yesterday, I'm with the 8th grade receivers. Coaches, let's just take a look at the first play we'll be analyzing today in our game film. And all you people who are buying this film are running zone. I want to just refresh you very quickly about the 24 and 25 Bob play. Remember that the 24 and 25 Bob play. Bob is the descriptor that tells our fullback he is back on back. It is a split inside, inside zone play. We call a stretch isolation play because our fullback simulates the open step of the stretch play to soften up the overhang or the stack back. Now coaches remember, just to refresh you really quickly, the overhang means any person that's in an invert position to the split end side of the formation who's an immediate run support. If there is such a person, for example, in a strong eagle front where the will backers in the line in that position, the fullback blocks that support. If there is a stack or there is no overhang, then the line, linebacker is blocked by the fullback aligned over the guard or over the five technique. And again, we'll go through all that on film, but just a quick refreshment. Let's look at the board at 25 Bob, even though we'll look at both 24 and 25 Bob. Again, the play, 24 and 25 Bob, is gonna tell the tailback he's going to run to the inside leg of the play side tackle. We will talk about again how we block the fronts in our game film, but as you remember from our book and our previous videos, we're gonna try to double team any shade along the line of scrimmage, try to control the front of the line of scrimmage and get our running back to the second level. Remember again that 24 and 25 Bob, the descriptor is back on back. I've just got up for no other reason than just to show you for the purposes of introducing the play. We have a 4-3 front. That is a 5 and a 9, a shade and a 3, and 3 backers. The Will Backer playing slightly inside the 5 technique, the Mike Backer in a strong 0 shade, and the Sam Backer playing in a 5 technique to the tight end side. We'll see a variety of coverages in the game film coaches, and I'll try to do as much as I can to show you how you can somehow control the secondary coverages that try to get extra people to the line of scrimmage to force the run. But in this case, just to go back to the Bob call again, the fullback looks outside the five technique, sees no overhang, and knows he's going to block the will back. Again, for all you people who are running zone, who are the coaches who are buying this film, we're really excited about being able to show you our game film that you can actually get a look at all the good things that happen in zone, and we'll be able to point out some of maybe not the so good things that you can analyze and be able to utilize in your own offense. Coaches, after looking at the board at 24 and 25 Bob, the inside zone of the split end side play, 
Let's go ahead and take a look at some actual game film of 24 and 25 bots. Coaches, this is the first game footage we're going to analyze. This is what we call a queen twins formation. We have our fullback set to the weak and we have both wide receivers down on the same side. We're facing a very common front, which we see more frequently than any other front in college football. It is a 4-3 front. What this front has done is kind of mirror their defensive front and second level linebackers to the position of the fullback. They are playing a 3 and a 5 technique to the split side, a heavy 2 eye to the tight side, and a 6 technique. One of the things this defense has done to mirror our fullback alignment is they've kicked the will backer outside the five technique and they've changed their coverage coaches. They are basically a cover six team, cover six to us, which is to you.